We didn't up the bits. We were supposed to, but we didn't. <sighs> that ectoplasm on the wall. Uh, apparently, what? What are we? Are we on break in school already? What is it? One o'clock, lunchtime. Yay! So we're gonna hang out in the class and entertain people. That's fine. <sighs> I wanted to get some of that cafeteria spooky meatloaf. No, it's made by like it's it's got weird ingredients. Um, let's see. Now I got now I got to read all the scribbles all over this chalkboard from people. Uh, let's see. What's up? Radio Rabbit. Um, I'm going to try to do the high thing before I get rudely interrupted. Life virus. Uh, oh my God, Pauline looks so cute. Standard uniform. What's Normal up? is overrated. Hey, two moons. I thought we muted these. I guess not. Um, mm. Let's see. Rotten Vandal. Mr. Guy is here. Mr. Guy, what's up? Mm. Wolf Canis, too close. Too close to what? I resubbed, but it didn't any say anything. We had we had the thing on mute. And we're gonna we're gonna like we're gonna I'm is it Dawn. still Lobster rolls. Eight moons also that Pauline Sipamot is super adorable. I love it. <sighs> See? It's a good thing you did that. It's cute. It's also a shirt. <laughs> That's my self promotion for the month. Um I gotta say hi. Get out of the way. Woman, please. I can't see. All right. Um, no, now people are going to complain that I'm blocking, right? Oh, God. All right, I'll try to see from here. I'm nearsighted. I'm sorry. Um, mm. Eight moats, thank you. Uh, Ms. Al, what's up? Wolf Candice. Yeah, but you said something. What's up, Shadow? Shadow Star! Is this high school of the dead? Will zombies show up? No, it's up. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. It's 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 not a high school. It's a college. It's a hey, fancy college. Guy. Starting what? my new job Monday in can. And can what? And can what? Oh, cliffhangers. Oh. I don't know. My eye seems to disappear. Let me say hi to people. Hold on. Mm. Hello, school pumpkin. Ellie, what's up? Mm, Shen Child, what's up? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, K-Bang, what's up? Valley Drag, cool. Awesome cravat. Mullet Man, Brian. La Brian, what's up? Dun -dun. Star Warrior Robbie. Sparkly Barista. What's up? How's it going? And congratulations on the new job. Can't wait. Oh, okay. Can't wait. It's like, and I can. What? Can't wait. Okay, you can't wait. Good. Uh, it's always good when you're looking forward to it, right? Uh, Yokia Academy. No, it's not. Uh, do we have the logo? Please say you put the logo in the, in the scene somewhere. This is hokey. Hold on. Um, Let's see. I just want to say hi. Boss Squeals, finally a day off during the stream. Yes. Living Goddess, what's up? Mary Poppins, we are in school. Ew. Well, it's not so bad. I mean, look at the lessons we got here. Read chapters one through three of Dead and Loving It by L. Nielsen. Oh, um, I thought he was in that movie. Oh, it's something he did in the afterlife. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Please view two separate Ramiro films by next Friday for those participating in Ramiro Movie Madness discussion after class. I guess we're doing that, right? We've already seen like a hundred of them. Um... And apparently, Pauline's ahead of the game by Conjura Familiar for show and tell on Friday. Is that why I'm here? Because I could have stayed home. God. Great. Now I'm going to be a prop for everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, yeah. yeah it was a Halloween night, and she summoned me. Hey, hi, class. Oh, God. I really hope the class isn't filled with jerks. Um, I don't, I'm not staying in the locker all day. What? Hello, Poom, Kim Guy, and Jim Others. Missed last few streams due to life. Life is terrible! Commander Riker! How's it going? You doing all right? Guess what we're making right now. Coffee. Cold brew. Thank you. Went to the Adirondack Animal Land and besides having a bird in the open bird habit making my dad's hair its new nest, I also watched a zebra give birth on the safari tour. That's too much of nature for me, frankly. Love the background splash, and at least your school has food in the cafeteria. Also, good afternoon time to get breakfast and coffee. Breakfast! Yeah, I mean, they have food in the cafeteria, but I haven't been able to get any. What? Bullet man! This is much better than the old edition of the textbook about being dead. That thing read like stereo instructions. Right? God. Hey, they get it. Damn. <laughs> Uh, so is Pauline the student council president? We, we, Dude, this is like day three. Because we started Monday, Tuesday, and then here we are. So, one, yeah, day three. I can math. I'm good. 
We may be glad to have finished school and all, but we did have some fun and crazy adventures back in school. Even in college, which turned out to be a waste of time since nobody wants to hire us. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta change the lights. Ugh. That good? Am I am I less natty today? No, apparently. What is happening? Nothing has changed. It's you. I'm thinking it's you. I just, uh, all right, turn them off then. Don't matter. Is that a little better? I don't know. Why is it so dark over here? Hold Wait, on. you started on Monday, as in Labor Day. Yes, it's a weird school that doesn't observe holidays. Sorry. No, the whole point about Labor Day is the work. It's got the word in it, labor. So they're like, all right, kids, back to school. They're like, what, on Labor Day? It's like, yeah, what do you think Labor Day means? It means you got to work extra hard. So we instead of having like a six-hour or eight-hour, what? how long are their days? I don't know. It's like really long. What? I bought a bunch of Neurotically Yours DVDs yes. and Foamy CDs back in the day. I enjoy supporting your work. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep it up. Well, what else am I going to do? It's either this or groceries. Be hanging out with that dude from the Cosby Show. Look it up. Boy, dude, at least he's got a job. You know, a lot, a lot of kid stars from the '80s don't have jobs. Dun, 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 dun. Sandworm is back. Yeah, it shows up every once in a while to fix the lighting. Um, let's see. How goes it? Oh, Robot Overlord, what's up? Flops in. Poof. Dun, dun, dun. I bought him. Uh, no, no, hold on. Uh, Yelp, Wesley, thank you. Um, sad but true about college. No, college was kind of fun. I mean, well, you went to art art college, so uh, you actually used what you learned, surprisingly. So, and here we are, 17 years later. I always want to know, I want to know what the rest of your class is doing. I'm like, I wonder how many of them are actually doing artwork or if they're just like, oh, wow, this was a dumb decision. I don't know. It's all about perse perseverance and confidence and determination than staying awake in class, or at the very least showing up. Yeah. Um, oh, there's so much. I am just intimidated by these these boards of just words right now. Um, let's see. So today I was told what what happened to your dog. So today I was uh taking the dog for a walk when I spotted something being thrown out the trash. Oh, Catella uh, was old, but I'm not sure. What Come on. Got a glass of wine and ready for school. I would not have drooped out of collage if they had let me drink in class. What was that? There was a jitter. Is there an earthquake? Well, that's strange. We're using a new capture card. Yeah, so if things crash, then, you know, <laughs> life. Uh... Oh, hold on. Thank you. Hold on. Uh, I got to read this. Uh, no, no, no. It was an old, but it wasn't sure. I found, uh, I found a 1940s through 1960s, what, through the 60s, what, guild semi auto on my 36 millimeter viewer. What? what? Like one of those little view th viewfinders? In perfect shape in the original box, a Kodak carousel slide projector and Focus H 850H in the original box. With a Dude, those things are, wow. Dude, those things are like relics. Good for you. Dude, dumpster diving. Yes! <laughs> you always got to dig through the trash every once in a while. You know? Did you happen to see the image on Twitter you are tagged in? No. I didn't. We're terrible. I'm sorry. I don't have to look it up now. Do I need, do I need to get my phone? Is it a priority? I went to Spirit Halloween ch yesterday. It was cool. Yeah, ours was supposed to be cool, but the fire marshal told them to get rid of all the animatronics because it was a fire hazard. So we didn't get to see any of the animatronics that came out this year. So we're going to have to go find another one and just see them. Ah. Oh, by the way, I just came back from a stream done by Isabel Bunny Bennett, the lead singer of uh, Steam Power Giraffe. Uh, I love that band. She's a cool person. Oh, cool. There you go. Chill people. That's what we need more of. Mm. Is Dawn around because if she's not at work, what? Not at work, those jitters could be. No, 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 no. She, she's, at, she's at work. Yeah, I don't know what that was now. I don't know. I don't know if the uh, new capture card is acting up, but we'll see. We did a test, though. We did a, we did a test, and I'm going to explain that in a little bit. Mm -mm. Oh, image is also on the Discord server. All right, I guess. Dinner, uh, 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 bow. 
I should like open that up. Meh. Is the audio for the stream a bit off or is it my headphones? I don't know. It depends. Am I too loud? Am I too low? Am I not synced up? Boo. Hey. Cheese. Potato chip. Is that working? I don't know. Sometimes it lags. Sometimes it lags. Like the sound gets uh, messed. Fire marshal is a fire hazard. Well, yeah, especially if you set them on fire. Yeah. Um, second month of film school for me, but I don't have confidence in the new teacher. It's more about him and his career rather than teaching. And he acts like he doesn't even want to be there. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah, you're going to find, especially in creative uh, schools, you're going to find those teachers that are just there because, it's, one, it's tenure. Two, it's got benefits and decent pay. And three, they don't really care. They just show up and they're like, yeah, I'm working on this and blah, blah, blah. They'll talk about their projects or their artwork or their films or whatever. And that's just, she's just sleepy in class. Um, you know, and that's just, that's just the way it is. You're always going to find that person. Um, I don't know, maybe challenge them a little bit and ask a lot of questions till they get fed up and just storm out. I know you. You had an uh, art instructor who was just like, "Yeah, today we're gonna draw from this." So I'm gonna go into this, and you're like, "Hey, uh, what do we, you want to tell us anything about lighting or uh, maybe form uh, observations of uh, blah 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 blah?" You know, and they're just like, "All right, I guess I'll get up." And you, know, you had to put down a newspaper. God. Cheesy potato chips. You you sound fine here. All right, cool. It's good to know. Thank you. My bad. It's my headphones uh, with speakers. It's fine. Oh, rogue alchemist. No, dude, don't you hate when your headphones die? Yeah. I know you get a lot of mileage Throw. out of your headphones. What? Throws. Thank you. Two moats. And we got a host. Famicom hosted. Thank you. I also found a children's circus tea set in the trash. Trash. That's what we should do. We should just like, because I, you know, the problem is where we live now and a lot of people don't throw out stuff. They just kind of either donate it to the thrift store or they just keep it. Um, but New York, man, dumpster diving was like a gold mine. People be throwing stuff out the window. Hey, I see you're in the dumpster down there. You want some more trash? Here you go. You know, it's like DVDs falling from the sky. And you're like, give me. Oh, oh man. This guy hit in the head with space balls. Ah. <laughs> True story. Um, I'm not even making that up. Dude, remember that time you were you're like, you saw that thing on the top of the trash, and you're like, what the hell is that? And then the guy's up there like, hey, I got some garbage for you, buddy. <laughs> and he just started throwing stuff. It was like food wrappers and stuff, but some of it was kind of heavy. So, you know, the guy was just being a schmuck. It was an old banana peel that almost hit you. Mm-mm-mm. Is this school school instead of college school? No, it's uh, after this. Hold on. The image I spoke of is on Twitch and the Discord server. You might find it interesting, but get to it when you have the chance. Yeah, when I got the chance. Get to it when you got the chance. All right, where's the, where's the, the school logo thing? Hold on. I got to pull it up. Where is it? Can't find my pen. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And of course, for people like us who are strange and unusual, uh, I can't believe you spent time on a logo. We we decided to go to the University of the Strange and Unusual. Good job there. Um, yeah, so you know, it's a school for I guess people who observe lunar things, uh, little creatures, witches, and ghosts. So there we go. That's where we're at school. It's a university, actually. And don't you know? It's a university. It's not just a cult. I'm trying to be serious here. It's not just a college. It's a university. A private college for those of us who are strange and unusual. I don't like saying it like that. Uh, it seems to be fairly laid back, so, you know, laid back schools are the best. Get rid of that, please. Thanks. So, yeah, so now, now you know uh, where we are. I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. I finally got my household good. Been unpacking since Friday. Friday. Uh, what? Still haven't got my desktop set up. Oh, man. Dude, that is the worst. That is the worst when you have to do that. 
Thanks for the follow. All right, and somebody else, Wesley, thanks for the host. And uh, you got hit in the head with space balls. All right, yeah, I know, I know where that goes. Yeah. I saw a story one time of one back in the 60s who got hit by a meteor, what, right? That fell in her living room and hit her in the head. I mean, dude, what are the chances of that? That was like winning the lotto like a hundred times in a row. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Can you imagine that? Wow. Ugh. Oh, nice design there. Yeah, that's kind of all we could come up with real quick. Um, let's see. Curse you into... There's a snooty laugh. <laughs> let's see. Uh, internet. Fra- Fry-yay. Fry-yay? Fry-yay. Froyo. So it's S-N-U-U. Strange and unusual. No, what's the university of strange and unusual? So shouldn't it just be Usu? Usu! Yeah? Why don't we go with that? Yeah, that's fine. It's like UConn. It's like University of Connecticut, right? UConn. They got a decent basketball team, but other than that, I have no idea. For Walking Dead fans, what? Uh, what? What? Dude, the Negan guy is going to be a, a baseball bat guy for what? In Tekken? Really? They're dragging him out? Wow. Ooh. Speaking of which, you know what we got to see? Oh, my God. This is a weird thing because there was a guy that looks like him in uh, this other movie. We got to see Baby Driver. And I got to say, you know, it, it's standard fare as, uh, you know, heist gone wrong kind of go. But I got to tell you, the way the film was put together, it is, I would say, audibly and cinematically just very impressive. It really is something to look at. Today's holiday, according to the National Day calendar, is National Cheese Pizza Day. It's National Cheese Pizza Day? Dude, every day is pizza day. Come on. Well, except here. Pizza day is, uh, what, Thursday in the cafeteria? I want that meatloaf. I want that meatloaf. I think they actually uh, use zombie meat, so it's going to be kind of fun. Go see what happens to people. How was that movie? Um, yeah, it, dude, it was actually pretty good. I would say like the driving scenes are scary. Um, all the acting was decent. It's got a good story um, for the most part. And, you know, I, I would give it a shot, actually, because it's just the uh, cinematography of syncing up the actions with the music that's playing. It, <laughs> Dude, I... I don't even know if they could ever do that like again and make it work that well. I was impressed. I was impressed. It's subtle, but man, it works. Mm. Meatloaf. I want some now. Juicy shack meat. Ah, I have a lot of dreams where I'm back in college. I always lose my schedule and don't uh, know where my classes are. Thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, we just kind of wandered into classes. We were just like, yo, uh-huh. You know, that kind of thing. You were terrible. Schedule. Yeah. Am I supposed to be here now? No, that's next, 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 whatever class. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, then maybe I'll be here. Maybe I'll be downtown in the village having fun. That's what we did. Why are you making goofy faces here? I think she's actually enjoying this place. You know, because she kind of fits right in because she's like, you know, strange and unusual. Um, There was a guy in China who was hit in the chest with a meteorite and the technician doing x-rays didn't know it. And when he turned on the machine, it also killed the technician when the me- metallic meteorite exploded. Oh, that's not good. That, that is also a very bad chain of events. Holy, wow. What? <sighs> Gotta readjust. Readjust for... To readjust for the lighting that seems to be just precariously annoying today. Hmm. Did the presence of Kevin Spacey somewhat tarnish it? Um, I would say no, because we're very good at separating the personal antics of actors, artists, and musicians from what they are actually doing. And we really try to like impart that on people where it's like, you know, the guy could be the worst person on the face of the planet, but they're playing a part. Are they doing it well? You know, that kind of thing. 
So I just take all that weird Kevin Spacey stuff that's been going on right out. Apparently, uh, he was cleared, though. I think it was just a news article uh, this morning or yesterday that the investigation on him was fine, technically. But I don't even know. Whatever. He, w- he was good in it. So there you go. Dude, I laughed so hard last night when night I was clucking like a chicken. What? Why? That sounds like some kind of weird spell. You shall forever laugh like a chicken. It's like weird. That's weird. So yeah, you too. What? Yeah. At that dream with freaking high school, I think of myself mid dream. Wait, why am I back in this crap hole? Oh no. I'm having that dream again, aren't I? No. You don't have dreams about high school, do you? No, I'm not talking about like the Heather's let's let it go boom type dreams. I'm just saying like in general. No, no, we're good like that. Like that's in the past. Keep it in the locker. Set it on fire. Um, to quote Stephen King, meteor beep. I remember that. <laughs> oh, God. Creep show. I got to watch it again. Yeah. Dreams of school are not something I have, but I do have combat dreams. Combat dreams. Oh, is that like a PTSD thing? Oh, that's bad. Unless unless it's... I don't know if anybody enjoys combat. I guess if you're a ninja. You know? I, I would like to have combat dreams if I was a ninja. Always winning. No, I don't want to be the, the ninja that, you know, I'm like, oh, oh, you know, like uh, Chris Farley ninja. I don't I don't want those kind of dreams. That'd be terrible. Looking forward to the Nutcracker movie coming in November? No. Why would I? No. What I am looking forward to in November. You want to know? New Tenacious D album. Even she's happy about that. Um, no, they're also doing an animated thing on uh, YouTube, apparently. I thought they were coming out with a movie. There were, there were hints of a movie coming out. I don't know if that's true now, because they got the animated series happening. So, yeah, that's going to be a little weird. Plus, the dude from Mindless Self-Indulgence is coming out with an album in October. And what? Who, that other band, Metric, in September. Yes. So I got three albums to look forward to this fall. So I'm, I'm just, I'm ecstatic. Hopefully I'll be able to listen to them this year. Uh, I kid you not, and it hurt to laugh. Wow. Hmm. Uh, 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 I, I hear beeping. That must mean the coffee, the cold brew, must be done. I'm going to let it sit there and get more and more coffee-like. I know it's been running for like 50 minutes. It's going to be awesome. It's a giant chicken, I tell you. A giant chicken. What was the other movie we saw? Oh, my God. There was something else. Oh. I forget. If I think about it, I'll let you know. I was supposed to print up something, and I completely forgot. Uh, new Tenacious G album. This I got to see. Yeah, I think it's November. Uh, almost late November, like the 20th or something like that. But uh, look it up. You type in Tenacious D. It's called what? Po- post something apocalypse? Post apocalyptic? Or I don't know, something like that. Uh, something like that. Mm. She's so giddy, and I love it. Oh yeah, Pauline's. I know she's in a good mood. You know, I can't. I can't fault her for that. You know, I can't be like, "Why are you smiling all the time?" You know, because you know when we're in the in the real world, it's all like, "Man, look at that person. Man, they're all blue. Man, stop eating silver, lady. Man, you know that kind of thing." Like anybody even knows that. Um, mm, 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 mm. what new Tenacious D album? Yeah, man, Tenacious D, the D. Dave Grohl is drumming on the D on the album. Yeah, he is. He does some drumming on the album as well. I do Dave Grohl. They they all chummy. Can you imagine just like hanging out with Tenacious D and Dave Grohl? You know, just like chilling at just wherever and just like at a diner and just be like, yeah, what's up? You know, just, what do you do there? I don't know. I'd feel really weird if that happened. You know, like, oh my God, what do I do? Stop picking your nails. Excuse me. You're blocking shit. Ch- hey. I did not see the thing about Tenacious D, but meh. Um, I know, maybe type in Google Tenacious D new album November. 
So it should come up along with the news about the YouTube thing. I know I literally just found out about this morning, so I don't know if the news aggregates have gotten their web web crawl is into it yet. Mm-mm. I also have cookies with coffee flavor. Cookies with coffee flavor. I, I don't have those. I've had this dream of battles might never be, uh, what, two battles, but I don't know the beam shot, uh, so I do get a fan. Ooh, fan of pain. It's terrible. Hate that. No, 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 no. So I wake up hurting. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. Huh. Weird. Hmm. Is Timmy wearing a dunce cap? What? the Dude, you think we brought him here? This is a very classy place. You know, I think we're going to... No. Same thing with Gordon. We're just like, no, nah, man. We... No, we left him in a mailbox. He'll be fine. Well, I mean, I could hope that the, you know, when the the delivery person comes to pick up the mail, they'll just... No, I put postage on him. A bunch of stamps. So hopefully he'll get shipped to where he's addressed to. I don't know, some Middle Eastern country that's war-torn. What's up? Glad to catch another stream, but I have an appointment today, Boo. so I can't stay the whole time. Boo. Less than three. Yay. It all works out because it says less than three. I know, try... Try to enjoy the appointment, I guess. I know, very rarely do I make an appointment and actually enjoy it, but I don't know. Hopefully it'll go well. What? Why are you so weird today? I can't stand this. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Gardner would be wearing a dunce cap. Eh. Stay in school, kids, or else you end up like Timmy in a mailbox covered with stamps being sent to someplace. Dangerous. Mm. Abu Dhabi? No, that's where Garfield kept sending Odie. Is Abu Dhabi even a place anymore? I think that changed geographically, didn't it? Like, it's not called Abu Dhabi anymore. I don't know. Somebody research. Oh, when I was a kid, I got fan of pain after a dream that ended with a b what baboon jumping at me and biting into my shoulder. What? Wow. I am thinking of getting a cold brew maker. Yes. Also, are you going to pull in Ermel from Garfield? Why would I do that? Well, what does normal do? Am I going to just sit there and be annoying? No, I don't want to do that. That's that's not my thing. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, it's for the chiropractor. So, yeah, not looking forward to it. Oh, man, back crackers. <sighs> no, not crackers you put on your back like chips. What is wrong with you? Post. Apocalypto comes out November 2nd. There you go, November 2nd, post-apocalypto. Thank you for looking that up. Now I now I have dates. And there you go. There's the title of the Tenacious D album. This is not a sponsored stream. I just really like Tenacious D because they're fun. It's like Psycho Stick. They're fun, you know? Got to have a little bit more humor in the whole metal genre. Everyone else has just been like... And like... Dude... You want to enunciate a little bit? Stop gargling Drano, please. Thanks. Anyway, um, mm, 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 mm. it's part of the United Arab Emirates, is it? Mm. Have you seen All Hallows Eve or Terrifier yet? No, we haven't seen really a lot. We saw Baby Driver, and then it was something else that we had on in the background that we completely just blanked out, apparently. But Baby Driver was good enough to catch our attention, so that, that's why we actually watched it. Um, God, I can't even remember. Oh, and they're making a Netflix Witcher series, and uh, the dude who plays Superman is going to be in it. What's his name? Cavillo? Cav Cavillo? Cav Cavillo. Cav Cavillo. Cavillo. Hey. Cav is that his name? Whatever. He's going to be the Witcher. Superman is now the Witcher, so it's going to be weird. I I think I'll be able to do it. You should be right. Nermal was being cute and is the one Garfield mails away. I thought that was uh, Odie. Technically, that's like animal abuse now. Oh, God. Just in time for Day of the Dead. Dia los Muertos. I love Baby Driver. What's going on here? Let me rip stream. What is going on? Everything's fine. We're streaming. There's, it didn't, we're not.
we're still connected here. Hold on. All right, that was weird. Twitch went down. It wasn't us, surprisingly. You know, I would just figure, oh, look, we're terrible and we're going to get knocked offline. But we're back. Apparently. We didn't drop any frames or nothing. The thing's been in green all day. I'm just like, yo, dude, what's going on? Twitch. Twitch, I don't stream very often. Why are you doing this? It's because of the school, I think. You know, they block certain websites. So, you know, the Welcome, kids. My unstable friend. What's up? Three moons and many more to come. Three moons. Thank you. Looking for the many more. Thank you. <laughs> so we're back. We're back. Hey, what's up? I'm here just lurking. Getting my office together. Looks like Office Depot. Hobby Lobby. Video Game Art. Nerd Stuff and Michael's Craft Store just dump truck it all in my room. Showing you love and good vibes to everyone in chat. Seems I chimed in just in time. Thank you. Well, you bits give me power. Yeah, come all the bits. So what is the link? Being witch, aka derp. Derp. Thank you. And there's another one. What happened hugs. now? All of a sudden? Hugs. We got a hugs. Hugs for the internet. Cause it's feeling bad apparently. I think it was sulking for a second. No oh, man, I'm tired of just processing memes all day, man. I'm just gonna take a nap, man. Screw this. <laughs> And it's like, all right, all right, I'm good, I'm good. So back to the memes and all that other stuff. How come I didn't get a uniform? Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking around during the Twitch died blip. God. You know, it's like one time we get an excellent co connection, you know? In truth, schools had summer break due to most Americans being farmers. There is little need for it now due to so few family farms left now. I know, right? I went to get coffee and the stream stopped. And you returned, and here it is. Oh, great. More humans. More humans. Back in business. Back in the biz. You did a post and everything, let people know it's back up and running. I know. Sorry about that. It wasn't us, surprisingly. Spell gone wrong. Spell gone. Oh my god. Maybe that's what happened. Hey! Stop casting spells! Twitch went down! You're using the wrong ingredients! Moron! I'm just saying, man. You know, yeah, first semester's up in there. Anyway. Damn freshman. What's up? Oh, that's a follow. Thank you. All right, I wasn't paying attention. I think I got whiplash. Can you get whiplash by yelling? Anyway. No hugs for you. Aw. Class next door screwed up Twitch, lol. I know, right? What, what are you guys doing? You guys playing Fortnite? Stop playing Fortnite! <sighs> hey, if anybody wants to see a really uh, blatant ripoff of a game, in my opinion, um, look up Creative Destruction. It is, it is literally, I feel, in my opinion, a reskin of Fortnite. Just look it up. It's funny. Yeah, alchemy can get pretty hairy if you use too much of one reagent. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. God, go x-ray a meteor. Look at that. I took knowledge that people gave me and I used it for something funny. Thank you for that factoid. That was pretty good. Let's see. Eye of Newt. Leg of Newt. Where's that toe? Uh. If you haven't, no, no, ah, Mubot. Harry, Harry, stop the spells. You know, I don't, I don't think Harry Potter would even be allowed here. You know, like I, no, because the last school he went to, he like blew it up. So, ah. scum looks cool. Scum looks cool. Actually, as as games like that go, it's like kind of what Daisy should have been, right? <laughs> You can only get whiplash from yelling if you're trying to yell in multiple directions violently. Hey, that's, that's usually my thing. Where I'm like, Gordon, moron, what are you doing? Shut up, Timmy. You, what are you doing? Stop smiling all the time. God, yeah. You know that kind of thing? Ah, oh, that does hurt. Oh, man. 
Well, that skull was death and the accident prone long before the kid went there. Yeah, this is true. Eh. Why do people go to that death trap? <laughs> For some reason, that didn't work. Uh, 50 plus hours in scum. Great game. Yeah, dude, dude. It's, it's actually kind of really cool because they have like all these, uh, I guess, body indicators. Like if you have too much sugar, too much salt, it's, it's actually interesting. We talking Monkey Island scum? No, 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 no. It's actually a game called Scum. It's kind of like the game DayZ where you run around, you got to get resources and stuff, but they kind of upped it by putting, um, you know, physical indicators. So if your sodium levels, levels are too high or you don't have enough nutrition, that kind of thing, it actually is supposed to affect your character. If you needed another reason other than cannibalism to hate pumpkin spice lattes, Starbucks revealed the increased cells from them create millions of tons of plastic pollution from discarded cups. Way to go. Way to go, Starbucks. You're killing the planet and the pumpkins. What's that? What, no, man. No. Save the planet. Save the pumpkins. You know? No, it's not save the cheerleader. Save the world. You're not going to be a cheerleader. Oh, God. Please, I do not want to hang around with a cheerleader. I'm sorry. What's up? Cast a hug spell and spreads the addiction of Overwatch. I do like Overwatch, only because we got the pumpkin skins last, I think it's two years ago. I don't know how long that game's been out, but we got a, we got some of the pumpkin skins. We lucked out when we opened up the Halloween loot crates. Loot crates. That's cool. No, nah, man, I got two people. I got uh, the Reaper guy, looks like a giant pumpkin. He's got a, a pumpkin head, and then the, uh, what's the sniper that can heal? I forget her name. But uh, that one, too, we got the pumpkin skin for. Yes. It's like all Halloween. We should play that again. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I want to talk about the uh, da, 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 capture card. One, Aguado, thank you um, for recommending that capture card because it is, it is working. We're using it right now. And we did some tests um, with Dawn and her gameplay and all that other stuff. That also works. And we also did audio testing. So we'll be able to have our voice be actually audible. And we're going to try this out again next Sunday. So hopefully it'll work. Cheerleaders, next outfit. Oh, God, I hope not. That's a lot of work. Keep, keep the uh, skirt at a re respectable waifu length, okay? All right? All right? All right. Anyway, Overwatch you here. You give me power. Just how much we freak out when your stream is interrupted. I don't know. I actually, I'm, I'm actually very appreciative uh, of that. No, nah, because I was like, all right, there you go. Stream's down. Like half the people are going to leave. And you're like, no. You're like baby shaking the Twitch servers. Like, you better work. I will kill you if the pumpkin doesn't come back out. Ah, poof, poof. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh. all right. Sigh of relief. Stream's back up. Whew. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Twitch servers are there in the corner just like, I tried my best. I tried my best. I, I tried. I tried. I got PTSD for the Twitch servers now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Aguado. There you go. So, um, no, I'm, no I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're here, actually, because that, that worked out well. Um, no, I didn't, I didn't see them enter the room. So, uh, but no, that's good. So it was just in case they were going to watch the VOD. But, you know, you're here. Thank you. Um. Yeah, so we're going to try that Sunday. Hopefully we'll get that going up and running. And uh, hopefully Dawn's online friends won't be interrupting everything. We have no idea what game we're going to play, but um, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes, you know, that kind of thing. Should be fun, though. Should be fun. We'll see. Because then I can tell her to do things in the game. I'd be like, go over there. She'd be like, all right. Yeah. Maybe we should do the remastered Skyrim. Skyrim. With all the mods. All the mods. Is there a Halloween mod for uh, Skyrim? Because that'd be really cool. Where all, all, all of Skyrim is just like filled with pumpkins and Halloween stuff. That would be so great. Mm -mm. We love you so much. Ellie, how's it going? You doing all right? Yeah. Pauline is a cheerleader. I can see that. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be doing those really loud cheers, though. She's just going to be like, eh, pom pom, yay. And that's not going to help. We don't even have a sports team in this in this university, right? No, they want to focus on studies. So why would they need cheerleaders? 
rah, rah, you can math? I mean, what is that? And how's that going to work? <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Da, 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 da. You're at work. What? And just handled a laptop that had such bad hinge damage. I had to plug it in the front of the screen. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's what you're there for, though. Repair. Hmm. Japan yesterday got hit with a 600-something typhoon. I don't know typhoon numbers, so I'm assuming that's bad. Japan is always getting wrecked, man. They, they just had, they had the nuclear thing, and then they had, like, this giant heat wave that was terrible. They're getting, like, little tsunamis and stuff, and then this, this thing, a typhoon. Come on. Come on, Japan. Oh, my bits are broken, are they? Oh, no, I think you didn't put the slash in there. The little slashy slash. You had to put a slash in front of that. Unless Twitch is broken yet again. Don't worry about it, though. Cheers for chess club. This game may be a pain, but you have to use your brain. Chess. That's pretty good off the top of my head. Maybe I could be that. I could be a cheerleader, you know? Who wouldn't want to see me in a short skirt? <laughs> Everybody. Um. Anyway. What's up? Fix them? Yes, apparently. <laughs> Fix them. Thank you. So I heard the NFL is having major poop storms from the national anthem. Whatever. Yeah, dude, literally. You're, you're literally, aside from baseball, football is like such an American sport. American football. Um, you, you don't really want to be messing with the anthem. You know, it's like baseball saying, oh, we're not going to do the anthem. It's like, what? Why not? You don't have to participate, but just let people do it. You know, <sighs> I'm just saying, if you're an American, it's kind of like. Even if you don't believe in the state of the country right now, do it for everybody who just sacrificed their lives to keep that flag flowing. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, rant. There you go. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of political landscapes in any capacity of any decade I've ever lived ever. So, uh, you know what? If I'm going to be doing saluting the flag stuff, that's, I'm doing that for the soldiers, not the politicians. <laughs> Screw that. Politicians are terrible. Uh, dinner, 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 dinner. Going back to Sunday, I'm a moderator to uh, three or four channels on Twitch. Uh, my, what power? What, dude, power. Power! It's good to have power. I need to learn how to mod. Mod what? It's easy. You just clicky. You clicky ban. Clicky ban. There you go. Da, 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 uh. If cheers are not working, reload the page. I wouldn't even worry about that. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, God, there's Nike mess, too. I don't even keep up with any. Here's the thing. I wear uh, We wear sandals all the time, okay? So when it comes to sneaker controversies, it's got nothing to do with me. I don't, I don't know what the, the big deal is, you know? There's always something going on. Do you believe this clothing? I was like, you know what? I Whatever. I bought my clothes at the thrift store. Yeah, oh, well, these sneakers. I don't wear sneakers. Well, those boots. I don't wear boots. What about in the winter? I still wear sandals. Even in the snow? Yes, even in the snow. You're going to lose a toe. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll donate it to uh, the University of the Strange and Unusual so they can use it for a spell, all right? Anyway, mm, I hope you're doing well. Oh, Beanie, what's up? Eh, I hope you're doing well. My job was forced to close. Oh, for the week due to critical systems going down. Oh, that's always bad. I hope you don't work at a hospital. Um, and you need repairs. It will be open next week. Ever since I have been working on my moped. Still need to work. Ooh, moped. I want one. Actually, electric scooter. Moped, I'd kill myself. Electric scooter. Something that doesn't go faster than 20 miles an hour. Wear a helmet. The only thing good about you is your brain. Anyway. Football players are burning Nike shoes protest. What? Yeah, that's good. That's what you want to do to the environment. Burn rubber. You want to start a tire fire too, you morons? Well, you know, they are um, professional athletes. Why don't you get you one of those Game Boy Micros to play while Pauline is in class? Oh, that would be a good idea. I don't know. I think she's got to keep me in the locker during class because we're doing recess right now, right? This is like our lunch break. This is a long lunch break. I hope we don't get in trouble. 
whatever. They didn't give me meatloaf, so you know I'm, gonna, I'm staging a hunger strike. I'm going hungry for meatloaf. There you go. That's Chris Cornell, another idiot who killed himself. God. Um. Anyway, one less toe to stub. See, that's the positives. I like the way you guys look at the positive aspect of things. You know, oh, I lost my towel during frostbite. Well, think of it this way. That's one less toe to stub. Oh, snap. Get me a scissors. I can get rid of the rest of these. Snip, 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 snip. Don't do that. I know somebody's out there like, well, that's a good idea. Let me just have a nub for a foot. You know, no, because I have nubs for hands and it's really kind of difficult to play games. I'm so glad Xbox came out with the adaptive controller. Like, I'm, no joke. Yeah. Um, let's see. Da 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 da. Ponders ramifications of pumpkin toe. Pumpkin toe. It's a nub. All you need is a pair of Doc Martens. Those boots will last a good decade. Yeah, we're on t- what? What? You're, you're Doc Martens, twenty years old, right? Like oh, even more, because you got those in the nineties. Would Telehermit be a good alchemy reagent? I don't know. It's really easy to find hermits now. They no longer live in caves. They just hang out on the internet. You're a hermit. What are you doing with your toast? Yeah, so you know, again, hey, it'll be one less, to, one less to stub. Where's the scissors? Hold on. There we go. There we go. Come on, give me your toe. Come on, snippy snip. Oh, really? The dimension followed us. All right. Well, I hope that didn't land on anybody. But all right. Well, I guess the international dimension or whatever. 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 Anyway, snipping toes. Haha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hugs, hugs. 420! What's going on? <laughs> dead Man's 2 was using Hocus Pocus. Yes, it was. Oh, you gotta be dead first. Oh, I gotta go back and get those scissors. Hold on. Also, make sure no one is making hands of glory in shop class. Dun, 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 dun. What? I can't find them. I think they were stolen. No, I just threw them in there, and now they're gone. Um, let's see. What happened? Make sure I was make uh, hands of glory. Hands of glory. I'd be more worried if somebody was working on an infinity gauntlet. Frankly, um, I don't. I don't know. There's a couple of dwarfs in, in shop class. I saw them. They're a lot smaller than they look look like in the Infinity Wars, though. NFL burning what Nike in what see I don't under I don't understand why okay because I don't want to get into the a political aspect of it but I would like to be kept in the loop as to why people are burning Nike I shoes. just can't my toe so hard as you were talking about it oh my god prophecy has become reality say now if you just you know clip those off you wouldn't have that problem I'm just I'm just saying so why 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 are shoes being burned? Why are rubber soles being set on fire and ruining the environment? For what reason? It's not like NFL that's burned their stuff. It's the NFL fans doing that stupid stuff. Oh, NFL fans. What are they doing? You can make horse head bookends in shop class. Yeah, but they use real horses. It gets kind of weird. Like those nightmares that nobody uses anymore. The nightmare horses that are just skeletons. No, they don't use the ones that burst into flames. Just the regular skeleton horses. You know, it's like they're past their prime. Nobody uses them anymore. And they just kind of, they do nothing. They're literally dead. So, I don't know. Please. Anyway, what? Because of their, what, face of Nike. What is the face of Nike? I don't see. That's the thing. Dude, I, I am so out of the loop when it comes to shoes. Because I haven't worn them in, like, years. What? Colin Kaepernick burning their Nikes because cops the new face of Nike. And I'm going to ask this question. Cap who? <laughs> like, literally, dude, it's sports. I know nothing about it. Cap. Oh, God. And if it starts getting into weird, controversial territory, don't bother. I can look it One up later. of the players who kneeled during the anthem against police brutality is the new face of a Nike campaign. Oh, uh, well, um, I 
I know nobody likes police brutality. And well, you know, if you're into you know S and M, then maybe, um, uh, maybe it's the uniform. But I don't, I don't know, God, what? Ah, then that uh, man got to sell their stuff. Uh, Colin says the new Colin Ka- Ka- Kaepernick is the new face of Nike. Does he have a, a big check on his head? Nike is using Colin Kaepernick as a spokesman, but I don't wear Nike. They run narrow, so whatever. Yeah, I just... uh, No, man, now we're getting to the point where if you go out with, like, shoes, people are going to be like, dude, are those Nike? It's like, yeah, what? Don't you realize the blah, 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 some kind of controversy, Twitter, hashtag, trending, shoes, set them on fire? Uh... I don't care. They're just, they're kind of comfortable. Can I, can I, can I live my life? No. Cause that me that's sending a message out there to, yeah. People like you who are taking things one too, way too seriously. You should just tone it down a bit. You know, I just, I could see if, you know, they were made out of like baby seals or something, then you might want to second guess wearing those. Um, but come on guys. God, this is so petty. It's so petty. Uh, the one dude burnt his Nikes while they were still on his feet. Now he's in a hospital being treated for burns. See, I wouldn't even do that. People get touchy when you don't stand for the anthem, and he was doing it for police brutality, and it's been a bleeping mess. Yeah, well, you can't have opinions anymore. The most important thing I learned when I started following the news, people are stupid. Seems that way, right? That is the moral of the news. Hey, everybody, look at all the stupid things humanity is doing. We're going to talk about this stuff every day and inundate your news feeds with it constantly. So you'll think that humanity is 100% stupid all the time, and it does seem to be that way. However, I think we're doing all right here, right? Nobody talks about the good stuff that happens in the world because it's not, um, it doesn't generate clicks and hits, you know what I'm saying? There's no views and, oh, this person helped this person across the street. This person brought this person back to life. You know, you, you know, whatever. Dog saved owner's life. You hear about that every once in a while. But mostly controversy. Can you believe this person did this? Can you believe that person did that? This person did this. That person did this. This politician said this. Oh, my God. Did you see what happened? How could they? I don't know. I'm so angry. Trend. What? I'm a filthy ad block user. May these bits replace the ad revenue lost. Thank you. And you probably actually gave me more than the ad revenue pay, so good on hey you. Hey, y'all. I need a new rebounds per game game like Skyrim. Any suggestions? Stuff to save for later? Oh. Um. Hmm. As a veteran, I do find the kneeling during the anthem the wrong way to go about bring up any subject. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, dude. Uh. Why don't you just use one of the many forums of millions of followers that you actually have on the internet to use that as your forum? Yeah, no, okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to upset everybody who actually, you know, values the flag. That's so silly. So how about Hawaiian pizza? No, would you stop that? I haven't tried it yet. I'm, I'm leaning towards thinking about it, but um, I have not yet. Does the local place just have a slice of Hawaiian? Because I don't want to have to order a whole pie and then throw it throw it at a neighbor if I don't like it, you know? Mm-mm-mm. I was thinking, is it just me that, uh, what, daydreaming maybe someday I could Your open up my power. own store and use items? I don't like watching news, and I like giving small acts of kindness that can be paid forward. There you go. Now, we do that every once in a while. With a few times we leave the house, if we see somebody who needs something, we generally help them out. Like somebody doesn't have enough change or when they're at the like, you know, convenience store, we'll just, you know, front them to change. There was that one kid who just uh, didn't have any gas in his car. And he was like, he was like begging his friends like, dude, you just, you don't have like $10. You can just, I don't, I can't get there. I don't have the gas. We overheard this conversation and we just, we checked our finances and we just went back and gave him 10 bucks. Also, I stopped giving a rat, you know what, in the 80s. Yes. That's probably the best time to not care. You know? In the 80s, that's when it was fun. <laughs> and it was fun for you because you were like an infant. So it was just like, yay, he's all great. Oh, one, two, three. Hey. Panties from you to me. Thank you. 
Donation to Hear Pill Z, Mealing and Nike Commercial Nonsense is Too Politicky. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. I just, I don't, ugh. Ah, Vamp Evil, what's up? Mass Effect is also a good RPG. Oh, yeah, dude, Mass Effect. Don't start with Andromeda, though. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mm-mm. I'll stop, stop playing. Oh, no, that's what I uh, Thoughts and prayers. You- what, what happened? What did I miss? What did I miss, Mary Poppins? What did I miss? What did I miss? I'm, I That's gone now. I don't know what it was. It's all gone. It's all gone. Witcher is dope as beep. Witcher, that's a good suggestion, actually. Dude, if you like Skyrim and you're looking for another game, Witcher. Though I hear you have to play them all. The first one's only available on PC, though. So you can't get it on a console if you're a console person, which is so lame, man. I started with Mass Effect 2 and loved it. Speaking of Witcher, apparently there was a Witcher movie in the early 2000s, but I think it was, like, Swedish or something like that. Uh. Oops. Stopped caring about the NFL in the 80s. Hit enter too fast. Oh. Well, that too. <clears throat> Thank uh, you. That reminds me. A few years ago, I was at a Walmart. I was just finishing putting my stuff in my Jeep, and a lady beside me tried to start her car but was out of gas. So I helped push her car to the Walmart pump station and got her $20 of gas to help her. See, there you go. Little things like that help out immensely. You know? There you go. Good for you. You're awesome. No, nah, man, I think everybody should do that. You know, you see somebody who needs a little bit of help, and as long as you're able to do it, help them out. You know? Like, you know, if you, if your back is jacked up, you know, don't help them move. You know, not, not, not that kind of help. But, you know, like little things here and there. Door holding is questionable now because some people get offended by door holding. Thanks for the follow. I can open the door myself. Well, yeah, you can, but now you don't have to. Uh, yeah, what? I know, right? Mm. Da, da, da. Henry Cavill is doing get 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 Geralt 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 Rocka Geralta Ah Hello there pumpkin guy Jack to go what's up how's it going The home country of Witcher Polish Polish there you go thank you No because it was a series of books that were actually like uh Polish books so, you know, next time somebody whips out a Polish joke, just throw Witcher back at their face. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, screen door on a submarine, huh? And here you go. You ever played a Witcher? Yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, oh, who feels stupid now? Right? Mm. 56 more days till Halloween's Eve. There you go. Hello, Crusader, what's up? Ger- Geraldo of Rivera. <laughs> Is he still alive, Geraldo Rivera? I remember him doing, like, weird things in the 90s. He got, like, all sensationalized and, uh, like, uh, stupid talk show kind of stuff. One reason I love living in the South, door holding, is just common courtesy here. Yeah, not so much in New York. You know, if you're not slamming the door in front of somebody's faces, they almost, they think you're at, from out of town frankly like oh i guess you're not a new yorker and you're like wait what well because i'm polite yeah yeah we we don't do that here <laughs> like uh. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh, michael said would have been perfect for Geralt. kevin is is a cool choice though yeah there you go that would have been good Mm-mm. Something about Sabbath. Hold on. Is it? No, no, not the band. Okay, hold on. I don't remember the day of. I remember once a week. Is that a thing? Oh. Yes, he's seventy-five. Geraldo Rivera, seventy-five? Huh? Didn't he marry somebody who was like thirty? Bit of an age difference there. I can't remember. I just I remember somebody saying something about something about him. Shiba. <laughs> Why you at the school? Cause it's not a school. It's a university. She's taking lessons in life or afterlife. What? Repost for you from earlier. Hey. What I was needing good vibes for was because my mom is sick. Ah. Been having to take care of her since yesterday and missed the first hour of the show because of it. I know, that's Hopefully fine. she gets better. Yeah, no, man. 
Winter Soldier. Going Hold on. to call it today as I have adult things to do. Boo. Boo. Hope everyone survives the week and see you Sunday. Yay. Don't burn your shoes. Boo. Especially if they're still on your feet. Thank you, Pizza Baron. And Winter Soldier's arm. Uh, no, nah, good vibes to your mom. Mom, get better. No, Winter Soldier mom. Winter Soldier mom, better get better. Don't worry about missing streams. Take care of your moms. Because mm. it's the right thing to do. Good vibes. There you go. Uh, on. What? Oh, man, I'm missing. Hey, we open doors for people. When? I've never had anybody hold open a door for me in New York. You know? They hold the door open, and I got to, like, quickly follow behind them just to get through if my hands are full. And then they think I'm trying to mug them. And I'm like, yo, how am I going to be able to mug you with, like, four cups of coffee in a tray w filling my hands? Oh, no, man, you could use your feet. I'm like, dude, what am I, an acrobat from Circus LA? No, I can't rob you with my feet. I'm sorry. God. Have a good day all in chat. Chin child, there you go. Going to go reply, what, go re reply games? Reply to games. Games are talking to you now? Say replay. Oh. And eat lunch. Enjoy lunch. Shibada. Thanks for the follow. Da -da -da -da. My foot is getting better now. Oh, cool. Better foot. That's awesome. Pauline is going to get a career in exorcisms. Um, no. I think we're just, we're just trying to, What what is this mostly like? Coping with your supernatural self kind of thing, right? So you get to learn how to like fit into society. Or destroy it. That's third semester. Okay. No, that's the, that's what I'm waiting for. How to how to destroy society. Let it happen. That's the moral. Just let it do it. Let it do itself. All right. That's that's a very passive approach for me. For frankly. Yeah. I didn't know The Witcher was a book series until I saw a post, and I've been collecting the books. Now I got uh the two other Witcher games. Oh, cool. There you go. All right, got to got to dig into that lore. That's cool that it was a book before a game because usually books are, you know, generally what well, well some of them are well written. Um, you know, and they have a good foundation for a story that you're going to tell in a movie or a game. Hmm. Repost. Uh, I've been uh, driving this 150cc Chinese moped for the past 5 years. I just replaced the engine. So you know what that means. Another five years or more of riding this baby. Despite the fact that the model is discontinued altogether, it's a 2012 model designed racing scooter. Top speed, 70 miles per hour. Oh, my God. Be careful. Oh, 70 miles an hour. That can go faster than your car, you know? It's like, well, Hyundai. Mm. That's awesome, though. Good job. Adding a little humor to the stream. Love or hate him. I saw a video with the text ad for the hair club laid over a picture of the prez that's actually kind of funny that is that is kind of it's humorous it's humorous i can see it mm. it's a university what is pauline majoring in um i have no idea she's already ahead of the game with conjuring a familiar uh, i'm sure she's already read the dead and loving it we've seen plenty of ramiro films so it's like her work is done you know but this is uh, some of that's extracurricular so it's like you know you're gonna show up after class what is that up there Living it with death in a live world. What? What is that? It's an advanced class. Huh. Weird. With Dr. Lich. Really? Okay. <laughs> ah, pumpkin guy. What's up? Checkered hybrid. How's it going? Mm. Dun, 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 dun. What? Why? Wolf Canis. Come on. Do mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm trying to catch up. Hold on. I had a religion teacher once told me she witnessed a real ex exorcism, but she said she couldn't tell anything about it and the language was not human. Maybe it was speaking an in internet. It was all like, yeah, blah, 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 hashtag. So the school is like the X-Men school. Um, not really. No, because we're not being trained for battle or anything. You know, we're just kind of chilling. Uh, don't read too much into it. Um, mm. Stop smiling. <laughs> She's like downright giddy today. It's so weird. I'll be the school librarian. 
Pulling the teacher is the Lich King. Um, well, he's a doctor. Doctor Lich. That's his last name. What's his first first name? Doctor? That's okay. That's what we're going with. Doctor Lich. <sighs> I see the gnats like you. Yeah, maybe to school. I don't know. Supernatural gnats. Supernatural school. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Taking a Hyundai beyond 60 miles an hour counts as daredevil act. Those vehicles will shake terribly at those speeds. Yeah, the older ones were a lot more durable, frankly. Because I think your mom had one back in the day, and it was just, it was pretty durable. It was a pretty durable car. And the, the parts are so easily replaced because there's so many of them. Waiting impatiently for Fallout 76. Yeah, when's that coming out? Isn't that uh, October or November? A Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out in a... Uh, October, right? Oh, God. And then there's Anthem, but that's not till February. Um, and what's the other one that comes out in the fall? Forza! I, I don't have a license, so it doesn't affect me. I can't wait for Halloween to celebrate my first year wedding anniversary with Pumpkin Guy. What? Where? I'm not married. Are we married? I didn't know. I didn't know! Oh. Mm. I'm always getting married. I don't even know it. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Lich. Must be cousin of doctor girlfriend. <clears throat> Before I forget again, I got good news. It's still in the starting process, but I'm an affiliate now. F affiliate! Hey, tactical! Congratulations being an affiliate. Mm -mm -mm. That's so cool. There you go. That's great. Dude, it's a step in the right direction, which is, I think, that way. Because there's coffee. Hold on, be right back. My anthem is not going to be good. I feel it in my bones. Darth EA is insidious. Um, yeah, we're getting to feel like it's going to be another uh, Destiny. And I wasn't crazy about Destiny. Because for those who remember, and I've mentioned this before, and it kind of still irritates me, when Destiny originally came out, they had a 10-year plan to support the game, making it basically like an MMO kind of thing. They didn't do that. Plus... The last of the DLC for Destiny, the original, came out like the same week Destiny 2 did. It's like, oh, Destiny 2 is out. Oh, here's that old stuff we were supposed to get with your season pass. So, yeah, there you go. Enjoy that while everyone else plays the new Destiny. Wait, what? I don't know. I just, I didn't like the practices behind that. So, uh, you know what? We played the first one for a little bit and uh, stopped playing when they patched the uh, loot cave, frankly. Hmm. It was the only thing I could think of. I see people holding doors all, all the time. Well, well, maybe now because it's filled with a lot of hipsters that have to be polite. Because then if you don't do it, you're considered like, you know, discriminatory. So I held the door open for everybody and then explain why every time somebody walks in. I'm holding the door open. This, because, not because I feel like you're an inferior individual. I'm just trying to be polite with the upswing in your voice. Oh, God. Ugh. I almost have my Twitch affiliation. Yes, 420. Dude, you know what? Uh, 420. This is Mary Poppins. I switched to my laptop, which I had to make a new account for because for some reason it won't let me log into my laptop on my Mary Poppins at all account. What? Well, that doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't even make any sense. That makes no sense. The sense is not made. It is... Wow. Hi. And uh, that's weird. What? Um, yeah. No, 420. Uh, you should do live streams of working in a vape shop. That would be great, actually. You know, because then you could teach people about stuff. Assuming you know about it. I'm just, you know, going by your name. Thinking maybe that's some place you'd frequent. And people like to learn about that stuff. So, you know what? Move, move to Colorado and just open up a... I'd like to say open up a, a, a joint. Which is synonymous for place. <sighs> a foreboding plan. Welcome back, silly human. Hey. Here's to another five months smile. Hey. No hipsters in the Bronx. And uh, Yeah, you do really have to kind of look. You do, you do have to look. I'll give you that. Give it a couple of years. As soon as everything else, all the all the boroughs aside from the Bronx are gentrified, 
that's going to become gentrified, and you're going to be like, man, remember when the Bronx was dangerous and fun? No. That was, that was like years ago, man. Mm. Not joking, by the way. What? Why not? There's a show on cable where Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart cook food with... Really? Is that a thing? Wow. Wow. Martha Stewart, huh? Well, she did go to prison. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. Alert, alert, we got a second package from me and my friend, who is a new follower to your message. Corgi, thank you. We're getting another package. Keep an eye out for it. Please, nothing meltable. What? Matthew! Just cheers? That's it? Cheers, cheers. And did that one even pop up? Oh, no, there's a five bits. Hold on, hold on. Well, I got to read it now. Um, Where did it go? Hold on. I have to go now, but what? What? But I need to do some fan art of you. Anything in particular you want. I want you to have fun doing it. That's it. What else can I say? Huh? Don't work on it if you don't enjoy it. Ugh. That's the moral of life. I used to have another account. I closed the account. Email Twitch about reopening it. Still nothing since June. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Once you close an account, I don't know if they're going to do that. That's kind of weird, though. I don't know. Maybe they'll look at it as being, like, weird. What? I know. Anytime I go to log into my or my brother's account, it gives us an error page, but my mom's works just fine. Murphy's Law, I guess. Lol. Um, maybe that's like a cookie gateway thing. You know, like maybe there's something messed up with your cookies. Yeah, clear out your internet cache, close your browser, reopen it, try it on a different browser if you can. Um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all that tech stuff. No, I hate doing tech support, man. Never. What? What? <laughs> we'll be poor to our last dying breath. Wow. It didn't alert you that you threw some bits. What? Oh. Why didn't it? Oh, no, five bits. That's why. No, no, because it's got to be a, a, a 20 bit limit that we were going to make higher because of the interruptions but today's been good i think it's just sunday i think more people watch on sunday because it's the weekend you know during a regular day it's like people are at work they don't got time to be playing with bits and stuff but then sunday it's like bit 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 son of a bit you know i get bit slapped (sighs) cookie you shall not pass no man let the cookies pass Oh, unless you're talking about digestively. No, I want that cookie to pass. Um, mm. back, back alley tech support. Yeah, what's your problem? What's your problem? Yeah, come over here. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. What do you got a problem? You, you got uh, what? Yeah, browser stuck? All right, all right. I'll show you what to do. Come on, right over here. Right over here. I know, that'd be like really creepy, right? Just some approach some weird stranger that has like a... Uh, cardboard box as an office and they're like yeah 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 i'll help you out tech tech support that's what i do yeah come on come on, come on, come on right over there come on, come on. A- away from the public man come on let's keep this on the, on the down low you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's like what you what is happening all of a sudden your internet is tied into the black market and dark web and you're like oh god what happened everything's so weird in my computer what is this i don't know what this is mm. da, 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 da. what rose you hold on well, time to go to work. See you guys on Sunday. Good vibes to all. Hopefully, work goes better today. Yay! Hopefully, it will. Be positive about it. And shoot out what? Cookies are freeing only. Yeah. Internet. God. Thank you and thank you. Um, what rose do you like your coffee? I'm assuming you meant roast. What roast do you like your coffee? And do you like whole bean or ground? Um, do we still have that bean gr- grinder? Because then we can use it for either or. Because sometimes we need a coarse ground. Because now we're just doing like cold brews all day. Um, yeah. I don't know. Varies. We lean towards the darker roasts. Like what's Kona? What's a Kona blend considered? Is that a dark roast? I don't know. It's weird. I, I, I can tell by smell whether I'll like a coffee or not, but I know nothing about it. It's so weird. I saw that. It came up. What? Shadows. What'd that say? 
Well, it's good to see you streaming more. Have you been, have you seen what Hank Green's video about being an influencer? And what do you think about what he said? Haven't seen it, so I have no opinion. Do I want to be an influencer? Do I want to be an influencer? An internet influencer. You can influence. Influenza. <laughs> I haven't seen anything, so yeah, I'm going to have to look it up now. God. What do they call those people? Something with words. Um, mm, 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 mm. Roasted Rose Coffee. I wonder if that would be a thing. I have a nice flowery, flowery scent to it. That'd be kind of fun. Medium. Medium. Oh, Kona's a medium? Kona. I guess medium then, you know? Because the Kona blend has actually been, well, at least the local local version of it, um, has been like the best to make uh, cold brew for us so far. What? I saw a sign in a men's room in a biker bar that said, do not heat the giant mint in the urinals. This is a very acidic mint there. Who puts Welcome these out there? Stable friend. 37 moons, Roki. Thank you. Wow, 37. I can't believe it's still 30. Wow. We've been on that long. Ugh, drastic. Thank you for your continued support. And yeah, um, I mean, what do they do? Don't eat them? Has there been an instance like somebody's like at a bar and they're like, oh, man, I'm just so messed up, man. My breath just smells like beer. Somebody get me a mint. Hey, hey, buddy, there's some mints up in the bathroom. Go look at them. Oh, all right. Thanks, man. Let's see. I got, I got mints. Wow, there's mints in every one of these things. It is a dumb place to put them because somebody could pee on these things. Oh, I better take this. <laughs> Yeah, I smell minty fresh, don't I, guys? Yeah, 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 you're the, uh, wow, you are a breath of fresh air. <sighs> wow. I know, right? Thanks for letting me know about those mints, bro. Yeah. What? Oh, man. Why is Paul, what is Pauline smiling about? Um, I know, apparently she likes it here. Oh, who, who would have thought, right? I figured she'd be like, you know, oh, outcast in school kind of thing, but... You know, three days in, and, you know, she seems to be fitting in with everybody. But she hasn't said anything to really tick anybody off yet, so <laughs> I guess. Yeah, at least they don't judge her silence. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. School's in for the summer. Mm. Is it? Are they going to do that? Because I, I, they were speculating about having school all year round. I think that'll drive people nuts. By the way, I forgot to mention I had a tooth pulled, boo, a few days ago because I had an abscess, boo, that caused me excruciating facial pain, boo. Unfortunately, it was one of, it was one of my front teeth, so I look goofy as hell, boo. Luckily, I'll be getting permanent replacement soon because this retainer sucks. Yay, boo. Hey, at least it'll get fixed. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, man. No, 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 no. There you go. So good. Look forward to that. I hope you're feeling better. I hope they gave you some really fun medicines. Like, here, take this. You'll be fine. Hey, man, this is great. You know, that kind of, kind of medicines. Mm. You already influenced us to have, give good vibes. Oh, there we go. Hey, we're influencing. That's way better than what most people influence people. Do. Oh, most people. Inf Ugh, I, I'm sorry, I can't read. Or you can't write. I haven't decided yet. That's way better than what most people influence people to do. Now, that's my fault. I can't read. You can write, though. just takes me time to follow, catch up. I'm sorry. No, nah, man, that's what we need. We need more good vibe people out there. Hey, if you're, an in, if you're an influencer on the Internet or a, what do they call them? Curator of blah, 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 whatever. I want to just spread some good vibes instead of your loud face just being... Hey, hey, look, look at this new product I got that's so great and everything. Just, just tone down the sponsored product garbage, okay? And just, you know, just spread some good, good vibes. You're in a position to do so, and I think people would find it rather refreshing considering what's out there in the world, you know? Good. And I hate that, you know, because influencers to me just translates into a corporate sponsor, you know? It's like, that's, 
that's kind of worries me sometimes. Some people are cool about it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Mm. I think if I had to endorse a product, it has to be something I love, not something that was given to me for free. You know. Boo. What? Yeah. It was my birthday last week. Dark sorrowful. Blah, 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 blah. Words. Dark sorrowful. What? Angel. Happy birthday. Last week. Last week? I was like a week ago. Why are you telling me now? I didn't get a reminder. You didn't even put it in your phone. <sighs> I don't get these alerts anymore. Oh, my phone's broken. Happy birthday. I know the things with teeth. I think about uh, uh, half of mine are missing and are broken. Oh. That's because you're a professional boxer, right? That's what I heard on the internet. Or you're just really good at ticking people off. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you should have less teeth yourself, you know? Your mouth. Mm. Commander Riker, influencer of good vibes. Yes. Spreading those good vibes. With caffeine. Yes. All right. The only M&Ms I care about come in bags and I eat them. <laughs> uh, did you see what MKG made a diss song on Eminem? I, I don't think Eminem cares at this point. No, you think if somebody did like, you know, a, a track dissing Eminem, he's going to be like, oh, well, yeah, let me get into the studio and respond to that. Probably just Instagrams him a picture of his bank account and he's just like, yeah, here you go. You enjoying that? Okay. <laughs> I think that's what I would do if I was in their position. Oh, man. Do not try while watching Pumpkin Guy. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't pumpkin under the influence it. Ugh. Did someone say corporate sponsor? I need money. I know, right? Foamy, the YouTube influencer sponsored by Copico. Oh, God. You imagine Foamy being a, a influencer? Hey. Oh, my God. No, he doesn't like anything, though. What is he going to... Huh. I don't even know what he would influence. I know. Is there anything he does like? No. Besides cream cheese. Please. And bagels. We get it. Oh, God. It's like 17 years in. He likes cream cheese. Yeah, we know. We know. We've been there. All right. Um, oh, let's see. Foamy the Squirrel is an influencer. I guess he could do coffee, um, nuts, and... Uh, yeah, I guess bagels and cream cheese. Huh? Hmm. All right. Well, hey... Corp corporate international agencies who would like an irate squirrel to uh, sponsor your cream cheese. One, it better be good. Foamy likes money. I don't. I don't ever see him really using it. I think he just steals everything. When was the last time the squirrel bought something? It was that one coffee. Yeah, and he didn't even leave a tip. So, <laughs> whatever. Um, thank you. But no, 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 no. Uh, uh, yeah, get the squirrel to sponsor. Be sponsored by Cream Cheese, uh, a bagel brand. And, um, you know, when he gets older, how about uh, stress-reducing medications? Like, I can still be angry and not worry about my blood pressure. You know, give, give, give it time. In another 15 years. You know? Mm. Foamy likes violence. So anything related to violence? Um, hmm. I think he would be good about movies, though. Foamy likes pancake syrup. He does. Yes, Foamy does like pancake syrup, but uh, kind of uses it not as intended. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm the bringer of cold coffee. Commander Riker, bringer of cold coffee. I didn't press the button yet, so it's just been sitting there. Now i got to press the button for it to actually, like, brew. Like, it already did the spin cycle, so now i got to, like, ah, oh, man. Bagels, cream cheese, coffee, nuts, violent. Yeah, you put them all together. You can make like a, I want to say a cream cheese filled bagel bazooka that shoots nuts. I don't know. Just off the top of my head. He paid with good vibes outside of Squirrel Songs where he did buy a large coffee. Yeah, he did buy one, one coffee, right? One coffee he bought. With good vibes. Sorry, I couldn't be here. It's gonna. I'm in school. School Wi-Fi sucks. Oh, join the club. How is the Wi-Fi here? 
What do you mean you haven't tried it? What are we? Wh where are we streaming from then? Wi-Fi's all right. All right. Well, you know. Hmm. Foamy likes nuts. To through it, people. Yeah. Do have Foamy do a review on nuts and how uh, they impact the human skull. Well, Planners makes a quite enjoyable peanut, but when it comes to penetrating a human skull, it's not as good as you would think. You know, if you really want to, you know, work on skull penetration, what you should do is get uh, Virginia, Virginia peanuts directly from Virginia. OK, because they have like very, very good peanuts. And just, you know, dude, I mean, come on. Um, you want to do that as a parody one day? No, there are more important topics to talk about. Yeah, but you'll get more hits on that. I'm just saying nobody wants reality in their face. Mm. Foamy approved bagels. I would buy them. It's really hard to find bagels approved by uh, somebody with such finicky tastes. I know, because what, you got to get like store-bought ones in the freezer? <laughs> what do people think of Crunchyroll's original anime teaser so far? I haven't seen it. Is it good? I should be on Crunchyroll. I have the same color scheme almost. A little bit of orange. But still. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So what do we have? Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to sit at my projector to see if it works. Why is that news? Why is that news? I hope it works. Hold on, let me get um coffee. Rant. If you want to get into a skull, 50 caliber sniper rifle works very well. Can they shoot peanuts? I wonder if anybody did that. Like um you know, a sniper's, like, thing is like, yo, man. Joke teachers, count. unions, and regular teachers would raise hell if they got rid of summer break. My mom is a first grade teacher, and summer is the only real break she gets, and she spends most of it sleeping in and centering herself and preparing for the upcoming school year getting rid of summer break. Would harm most teachers' mental health. Uh, find a new job. I mean, literally, dude, if you have to t take two months to recenter and realign your chi to deal with unruly kids, I mean, my God, dude, I would rather bag groceries. I'd really be like, dude, you want the eggs at the bottom, right? Okay, give me that gallon of milk. There you go. Enjoy your, you know, that kind of thing. I was just, wow. No, man, because I, would, I wouldn't want to be a teacher, frankly. No, because kids are uh, sometimes terrible. I would be a, I would love to be a teacher in college because at that point you don't care what they're going to do. And you know, the ones you want to help will seek out help. And, um, those who don't care, you're just like, all right, whatever. It's your tuition, bro. You know, cause then you could speak to them more on a, a peer level rather than have to be condescending to a bunch of snot nosed punks, not the good kind of punks. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What? Oh, that reminds me, how long are each of her classes? I don't know, but apparently we have a two-hour lunch break, so I'm, I'm pretty cool about that. Um, how many classes do we have today? We have, what, one, two, three, then we got the lunch break, and then we got, what, another three? But they're only like an hour apiece. Well, that's pretty good. Six, six hours school day? Oh, dude, I'm fine with that. But a two-hour lunch, that's pretty good. No, I'm fine with a two-hour lunch. I love it. Of course, I didn't get any of that meatloaf, but, you know, sorry. My zombie flesh meatloaf. There's two hurricanes. Yeah, there was a hurricane called Gordon! What are you doing? You're dropping rain on everybody, you moron! Gordon! No, you have no idea how agitated I got when I heard, you know, Tropical Storm Gordon. I was like, you piece of... You know, it's just ridiculous. No, I was yelling at the Weather Channel for like a week. Actually, it's Tropical Storm Gordon. All right, fine. Uh, whatever. Tropical, anything with the word Gordon. Because I think it was Gordon that did it. He's like, hey, hey, I'm in the ocean. Look at me. I'm making a uh, tropical storm. Look at that. Whoa. And he just spun around ridiculously. And he's spitting up in the air. And then it gets reabsorbed into the clouds and starts raining down on everybody. I don't know. He's, he's, he's so... Uh, Mick Gordon. Who is Mick Gordon? Gordon is heading to our area. See, you don't want to hear that. Nah, man. Well, if you hear a, a derpy knock at your door, don't open it. It's probably Gordon. 
Ah, let me in! Ah, I got rain out here! You know that kind of thing? No, don't let him in. If anything, I would call uh, pumpkin control. And, uh, I don't know, maybe they'll euthanize it. Um, Alrighty, PG, I'm out. Later! Tactical! You're gonna stream later? Talk to y'all laters. Start st stramming, stramming. Do it. Mm. After the storm, he became a tropical depression. Yeah, he was a force to be reckoned with, and then he got sad. How? Oh, yeah, I was making rain and everything. Nobody liked me. Nobody liked me. I'm sad. Yeah, it's like Gordon in a nutshell. Ah, tropical depression. It's the worst form of depression. I wonder if they, if uh, companies started making antidepressants for that. Do you have tropical depression? Nature does all the time. It could affect you. So, you know, buy uh, depression off or whatever they call it. And, uh, you know, it could it could possibly cure your tropical depression. You know, side effects may include, you know, temporary blindness, nasal bleeding, uh, you know, ear explosions, uh, you know, stub toe, blurry vision, rainwater in your butt, you know, that kind of stuff. There was a fight on the first day of school. Well, that's going to be a fun school. Oh, Security! Mick Gordon did the music for the Killer Instinct reboot. The Doom... Oh, that guy! All right. It, it is... It's so sad, and I apologize. There are few, so few names I know of uh, video game music comp composers. It's, like, really weird. I know the guy... Uh, and now I forgot it. The guy who did uh, Crypto the Necrodancer. I remembered his name and I will know it on site, but uh, I forgot it. Oh my God, my head is terrible today. I don't know. Film scores I remember though. You know, I don't know why. I guess because I see the name on the screen where music by. I'm like, oh, Hans Zimmer, Danny Elfman, John Williams, the Jawaz Jaraj guy. And I can't pronounce his name. I think he did Assassin's Creed soundtrack. Whatever. Mm. No, he did Fright Night. The remake. There you go. Be ready for the storm, Donald Duck. I am the storm. That's how he would say it. What? He would. That's how... Shut up. But leaking. Ah. Floating. Seepage, blindness, pregnancy in men, and loss of life. Right, all right. Those are the side effects you want to hear about. Necronancer. I should know that one, right? I know. The name escapes you for some reason. Gordon was going past. I mostly slept, so I ignored Gordon. It was a nice, rainy, sleepy day. There you go. Some days like that are really fun. You just sit there and just listen to the pitter-patter of the rain. Like... Yeah, I always sleep through uh, storms unless it, it rattles the windows, you know, that kind of thing. Then I'll wake up. You know, other, otherwise, I find I'm relaxing. Excessive profanity would beat the snot out of me for forgetting his name. I know, right? Come on! The, nobody, nobody looked up the name? Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't. I know I have it in the library, too. I can... Hold on. It's going to bother me. Oh, there we go. Danny Baranowski. Baranowski! What are you doing? Make me a soundtrack. No, I probably can't pay his fees. But he's got a fun name to yell. In the new GTA nightclub DLC, in the club bathroom on the counter is a bottle of... Oh, we don't need that. I would not use that if I found it in a restroom but i would say props to gta for still coming out with stuff that is amazing i really wish all games were supported that way huh. dun, dun, dun. all the negatives are in the box too my niece just started their third class uh what put it for today or first day what first day really huh. and she's getting all what non-people friendly non-people friendly but the person who sat near her gave her starburst and hershey's minis well, that's a good day, a good start to a school year, frankly. No, nah, man, any school that gives me candy, boom. 
I hate medications. I was once recommended by a doctor to take a allergy medication where the side effect included death. I thought to myself fuck it I'd rather have the sniffles from my allergies and refuse to take the meds. Exactly. No, when you had the uh, allergy thing too and the doctor prescribed some stuff to you and it's like, you know, may cause loss of smell. And I'm like, yeah, that's what the allergies do anyway. So at least that's not permanent. So screw this. No, I know. It's so weird, you know. But they have to put warnings on everything now. So it's like, you know, may cause fill in the blank. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I use two emotes for my excessive profanity, but not the emote that's in Necrodancer. Ah. Where's Don? Don working. The name reminds me of Rods from Monster Inc. Bernowski. You didn't submit your paperwork. You always got to yell those types of names. You really do. And thank you, by the way. Forgot to say thank you. Mm. And it's still 50 bucks to buy. What? I'm supposed to be working, but the boss stepped out, so I called my mom to shoot the bleep. Why would you shoot at it? It just makes it go all over the place. That reminds me, I still have to build an egg. Like I said, really off my game today. Come on, mullet man! Get your crap together! Mullet man! God! <laughs> I'm just going to yell at everybody today. It's fun. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, what's up? Like a sense of smell is cold. And osmia. What? And osmia. Isn't that like a musical? It can kill your appetite and possibly sense of taste as one effect. Mm, so coffee would taste like nothing. Oh. Next one to follow. I haven't seen that animation in a while. It came out all right. The Mimi Me Dance. Mm. It's okay. I got to give it like two out, of, two out of five stars. All right. Um, mm. Llama Wong. I know I'm having a big, what, brain, brain, big brain moments today? A lot of big brain moments. What does that even mean? Hey, I'm having big brain moments here. That, shouldn't, that should be a good thing, like an Einstein thing. Hey, no, I came up with a uh, solution to the uh, wormhole conundrum nobody figured out. I had a big brain moment. What is... Mullet Man! Dun, dun, dun. Bum, 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 bum. Coffee without taste. That is hell. Yeah, wh why would you drink it then? There's no reason to drink coffee unless it's got taste. For that, you just get caffeinated water. Yeah. All right, you want Pumpkin Guy to yell at me for being so rotten, Vandal? Uh, I don't know. You haven't done anything bad, so I can't really yell at you. You know, at least Mullet Man's got an excuse. Oh, I'm all over the place today. And that's why I say, get your crap together, you know. Hmm. I mean, my brain is not being as smart as it thinks it is right now. Derp. Okay. I'll accept that. You mean brain fart. <laughs> Dude, literally, if your brain is releasing gas, you need to go to a neurologist. Then bump, bump, bump. You didn't shower today? How about that? I don't know, dude. One day without showering, you're here, right? Oh, God. I got a message. No, I didn't. What is that? Well, put it down. All right. I would like some coffee. Can you guys hold on while I actually go press a button? I want to press the button on a thing. It's been sitting there for like an hour now. It's not going to be cold brew. It's going to be lukewarm brew. Give me a second. I'll be like two seconds, two seconds. I won't even change the screen. I'll be back so quickly. Hold on. You guys scold me for being unshowered? Um, it really kind of depends. A lot of people can get away with an every other day shower. It depends on how grubby and active you are, you know? Mm -hmm. mm. I do need something to eat, though. Let's see if I can get something. I have a little bar over here. Come on, I'm feeling, I'm feeling peckish. I got gnats near me, look at this. We're wrapping up soon, too, right? Oh, no, no, we're almost at our thing. What? Want me to ship you some Dawei Egberts? No, we got their instant version, which is, like, it, pretty good for instant coffee because it's the only one we can really find. But, um, yeah, I know. We, we have so much coffee right now. Hold that. Hold that thought. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. No, I need some food. Hold on. I need a snack. Nah, man, you ever, you ever just, like, and start your day and you're like, oh, snap, dude, I didn't eat. 
It's like literally like three o'clock, and all you've had is like two cups of coffee. Oh, no wonder why we're so jittery. We're like, oh, I'm like, my God, I haven't had anything to eat today. No. All right, we're good. Mm. I want snacks. I have a black candy cane with drop flavor. What does drop taste like? Hey, yo, that tastes like drop. What? So, PG, I was curious, since the assignment is to watch two separate Romero films, do I get extra credit for watching the classic Dead movies Night, Dawn, Day, and Diary also, which is better classic Dawn of the Dead or remake? Please say classic. What cold brew machine do you have because I accidentally dropped my cold brew jar on the floor, so I need a new way to make coffee. What, what was it? Queezing art. Queezing art. It was sent to us. Thank you. It's a, what is it? Cuisinart uh, Automatic Cold Brew. Does it in like 45 minutes. It's really good, actually. Look it up. Look it up. It's good. So just really have that in our thing down there. Mm. It's a Dutch candy flavor. Drop is a Dutch candy flavor? Really? I did not know that. Good news for horror fans. Shudder just announced a Thanksgiving and Christmas special with Joe Bob Briggs as well as a full series sometime next year. Happy news does exist. Also a great study tool for this class. There you go. Study, hit the books. <clears throat> Night at what? What are we talking about? Night of the Living Dead, Day of the Dead, Diary of the Dead, 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 Day of the Dead. Um, they're two different films. Well, if we're going by the remake, no, Dawn of the Dead. Which is better, classic Dawn of the Dead or remake? They're different movies, you know? That's like saying, which, which Ramiro version do you like of, uh, do you like the Crazies or the Crazies remake? Both of them were actually good, so, you know, there you go. Kind of depends on what, what you like. It's all about what you taste. Uh, who am I to judge? Dinner. Queens and Art, there you go. Boop. Somebody's got the model number. Oh, look at that. Of course. Commander Riker. Boom. Thank you again. I hit the wrong book and now it bit my hand. And it's flying in my... Mullet man, you're weird. Mm. And that's good. Did that... But I'm still trying to... Uh, what... Brandon, what are you... Now, oh, how are we doing? We're doing all right. We're kind of slowly winding down now because we had, what, the blip and to restart the stream, and now we're over our two-hour mark. Sadly. All right, what is it, three o'clock? No, we got to get back to class or she's going she's gonna to get in trouble. Like they're gonna, what, they're going to, like, uh, slap her with a ruler or something. They don't do that anymore? No. Oh. Well, then what do they do? They give you a piece of paper and send you to the principal's office? That's stupid. Yeah, mm. Pauline was late returning to class. Go to the principal's office. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Send me to the principal's office so I miss more class. That's that's, that's genius of you. I love your bits, and thank what? you for them. Chibada. Good day, pumpkin guy yes. and Jim Evers. Enjoy the coffee of goodness. Yes! I Dude, every day. Every day. Probably why I'm so jittery, too. It's your fault. <laughs> thank you, and thank you again. No, nah, man, I don't mind being jittery. It uh, keeps me awake during class, apparently. I'm going to get stuck in a locker. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. Ow, ow. Thank you. The craziest, the final chapter. Man, I'm hungry. Make me food. I, dude, if I could make food, I wouldn't, wouldn't have eaten a little bar of nonsense. <laughs> Okay, when stream ends, I can walk the puppy dog last bits of the day. Puppy dog, last bits of the day. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> Cyber loafing. Cyber loafer. <laughs> oh, man. No fire in the belly for these kids. What you uh, what? Had your hand stapled to a desk by uh, what? P.O. Nun, you are missing out. Yeah, you had, you had a lot of problem with, uh, I guess, religious figures in your school. I just didn't care for you. Mm -hmm. 
blank stare of the other student. Duh. Yell it. What am I yelling? What am I yelling? I don't want to yell. You have a thunderstorm. Congratulations. They happen every once in a while. <laughs> I'll be safe. Uh, there's a lot of hearts. What happened with the hearts? Why are there hearts? Anyway. I don't even know what we talked about today. This was like such a random stream. Talked about school for a little bit. Then we got on the topic of sneakers and the political ramifications that are. Um, I can't believe somebody made sneakers political. Um, and what else is there? Something else? No, that's pretty much all we talked about. What a weird stream today. Mm. More hearts. Hearts and shamrocks. Shamrock hearts. Uh, 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 uh. They got upset with me for wearing so much black. We're a bit hypocritical. <laughs> oh, yeah, you ever? Hey, mullet man, that's a good point. No, man, no, mullet man's like, dude, you know, like a lot of religious figures, like if you go into like a Catholic school or something, they get on you for wearing too much black and you're like, bruh, the only non-black thing you have on there is your little paper collar. Come on. You know, like I, that's like irony that escaped me up until now. Thanks for pointing that out. That is ridiculous. Same thing with the nuns. All in black. Why so dark? You know? Shouldn't they just be all white because they're so pristine and, and godly? I think some nuns have white, right? But the priests don't. Is that just for cardinals or bishops or the other chess piece? <laughs> what? Theory box twine is just juice boxes for adults. I can see that. But it's a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah. Da -da -da -da. There was a bit of that on Father Ted. Oh, I've heard about those cultists, Ted. They dress up in all black and tell people what to do. Uh, no, Dougal, that's us. <laughs> I forgot about that line. That's good. Oh, man. Because nuns are bleeping evil. Um, Yeah, it's 50-50 with nuns, at least from your experience. I don't know. They, some of them seem very bitter. You know? But like, some of the priests were cool. They'd just be, like, a little laid back. Except that one guy tried to strangle you. Um, mm. Is Cardinal Coffee really, really made of cardinals? I hate this school uniform dress code in schools. Made everyone look so plain and dorky. Oh, yeah, C keeps everybody in line. Keep Keeping you in line with that uniform. Which apparently she doesn't have a problem with. No, but at least it's a color. Like the, uh, what do you call it? The, the guys have to wear something completely different. And all their skirts are blue. Ah, okay. No, it's a separate school off campus. They don't want, they want people mingling and get, getting distracted, apparently. Yes. Yes, all girls. Well, except me. What? No, I'm not, I'm not talking to you now. Now you're just being rude. Um, oof, can't see. Ah, uh, there. Seeing a nun at Costco is bizarre. What? They got they got to eat too. What? They're gonna re literally wait for manna for heaven from heaven? I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. Then I hate school school uniforms. School uniforms, bad theory. I was lucky, lucky to never have to wear a uniform. You had uh, school uniforms all the time, right? Yeah, terrible. Yeah, can you have the m more uncomfortable clothing for kids stuck in a really hot classroom for eight hours a day? Yeah. Has Pauline blinked yet? Um, hold on, I think one's coming up. Is it? Hello? <laughs> there we go. Apparently the capture card decided to freak out. That's, oh God, we're going to have to plan for that. <sighs> Maybe it's got an issue where it needs a refresh. Yeah, don't shrug your shoulders like you know what's going on. Um. Uh, Anyway, so there you go. Something to keep in mind. What is it? We were like two hours in. We got to find out how long she wasn't blinking. Your eyes must be really dry right now. Maybe that's why they're pink. Anyway, 
Mm-mm-mm. They could pray for a sandwich. <laughs> Sometimes that works. They're like, man, oh, I really wish I had a sandwich. And then, like, you know, if you have a significant other, sometimes they'll just show up with a sandwich. You know, when I get home from work, I'm like, here, I bought you a sandwich because I figured I was going to get one for myself. Here's a sandwich for you. And you're like, oh, my God, my prayers worked. My prayers have worked. The sandwich gods have been, what, appeased? Generous. No, they've been uh, generous with their sandwiches. Well, I don't know why all those little pastors got to talk like that. Uh, is there like a thing about that, like that cadence that really draws more people in there? Like that Jesus is a... And why would they do that? It just sounds scary and stereotypical now. Like, yeah, no, man, Jesus is a cool guy, you know, kind of helps you out when you need him, you know, and, you know, he, he forgives you. You know, you mess up, he forgives you. He's like, the Lord will forgive you. I mean, why do they got to yell about it? I don't know. Need coffee. I don't want to go back to work. Well, then just quit your job and live on the... Don't do that. Live on the road and steal an RV and just be like Bonnie and Clyde and just go to convenience stores and live off of chips. That's my advice to you. Don't do that. Don't do it. Chat layer is on top of Pauline. Is it? Yeah, well, that's the problem. What? Maybe ch just leaps off the page, dude. Come on, dude. We're 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 not we're not a sophisticated stream here. What? You scored one hundred one percent on the cartoon assignment. Extra credit awarded for focus of silver. All right. Do I get a gold star? I want a gold star. That was like the whole thing in school, dude. You're gonna get a gold star. I, I don't know what to do with those. What do I do with gold stars when I get Are they real gold or is it just like a fake color? Fake. Fake gold sticker. A lot of work for a tiny little sticker. They should have uh, scratch and sniff stickers. Like uh, like that could be their incentive. Like you do good, you get uh, you know scratch and sniff. That'd be pretty good. I'd like that. I, I, I like those. You smell them and you're like, ooh, this is like strawberry. All right, whatever. An all-girl goth school, and you didn't tell us. Well, they're not all goth. They're just spooky, if that makes any sense. They're unusual. Some of them are more gothy unusual, and some of them are more uh, Cindy Lauper, she's so unusual unusual, if that makes any sense. Yeah, they just have all their, their own little special things. What? What is her course of study? Uh, various, like literally everything right now. It's just, we're talking about the afterlife apparently with Dr. Lich. So there we go. I don't dude. three days in. We don't, we don't know what's going on. You know, I don't even think we got all our textbooks yet. No, we've just been told to watch movies and get uh dead and loving it by L. Niel Nielsen. Nielsen apparently wrote it after he died. Anyway, mm -mm -mm. achievement stickers, achievement. Has anyone seen you in person, real life, and recognize you? Nope. Everyone thinks you're David Cross for some reason. From the 90s. Which is, like, really weird. Because here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This guy gets mistaken for David Cross, like, at least once a month. And you don't leave the house very often. But... Not current David Cross, like the one from like Men in Black when he was in a video store. And we find that really weird because you're like, dude, are you that guy that was in that movie from 20 years ago? And I still look the same. If anything, if, if that was the case, they should be like, dude, where is this fountain of youth? Because have you seen David Cross now? You guys look nothing alike. But back like a decade ago, you kind of look like him. You know, but now it's like, you know, you're like a younger version of David Cross for some reason. I, I don't know. But there you go. That's the uh, analogy. So, But I just find it weird. People who make that connection just think that that's how you looked, assuming you're David Cross, 20 years ago. So you must still look like that. It's like, do, do, do you know how time and aging works? 
I mean, am I the only one that finds that a little strange? I know when when David Cross is like seventy, you'll look like how he looks now, and then people will be like, "Oh, dude, you're that David Cross guy," you know, and he'll be like, "No, I know I kind of look like him from like twenty years ago," and they'll be like, "He'll be dead." You'll still be alive, and people will be like, dude, David Cross, I thought you died. He is dead. No, not really. Not in real life. I take that back. You know what I mean. The hypothetical scenario. Close enough for me. I want strange and unusual. Mm. So this place is like in Smith College Academy of the Secret World. Uh, I don't know, dude. It's just, it's, why does everybody got to compare everything? It's just, it's just a place. Just a place with, weirdos anyway <laughs> i don't think i've heard anything about david cross in 18 years so there you go we're not doing a gym class episode shut up um what the, what was i saying anyway eh. david cross was in the movie i'm not there was he i i remember him being in a sitcom called Just Shoot Me. He, he uh, popped in every once in a while. He was like a side character. And he was in Ghost World. He had a cameo in that. And what was the other one that I know him from? Men in Black. There may be one other thing, but I don't really remember it. So It was a medical examiner's office, you dummy. da 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 no, 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 not that one. He was actually in two Men in Blacks. That was Men in Black uh, 1 and 2, Men in Black 2, where there was that, they were looking for that videotape about the, uh, whatever, princess from what the flip ever kind of space princess thing. Um, the guy who had the videotape, that was him. He was, he lived in his mom's attic and it was just like, you know, they did a neuralizer thing on him. Come on, man. Come on. I've seen Men in Black. I know how things go. But yes, he was, he was the uh, medical examiner guy, too. Good evening. What's the topic today? Uh, topic of today is we're ending. <laughs> no, because we were on for like uh, two, three, four, nine, 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 uh, just about two and a half hours. But, you know, we want to make up for the uh, 10 minutes that Twitch decided to disconnect us. That was them, not me, for once. David Cross was in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, was he? <laughs> Were both characters meant to be the same person? Or two different people who look alike? Yeah, 20 years apart. Mm. Sorry, I don't remember Men in Black 2. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the best of the three. I actually like Men in Black 3. That was really good. Did it. Pumpkin guy, I'm feeling... I'm telling you, she's plotting to scare you. She's already making... What? Faces behind your back. No, I think we'll be all right. I'm kind of, you know, except for that one Halloween costume she went a little bit too crazy on. Uh, the uh, mummy costume from the Tom Cruise movie that apparently incited scaries. But uh, other than that, we're usually pretty good. I hear Will Smith wants his son to play in four. Oh, my God. Of course he does. <sighs> you no, with me, power. All right, this better be good. Keanu Reeves looks the same now as he did in Speed in 1994. Yeah, but David Cross does not. So that's where I, I get that weird disparity. Hey, if we look like Keanu Reeves from 94, I'd be fine. But um, you know what? No. No, we had to we had to be genetically similar to David Cross from the nineties. <sighs> All right, whatever. <laughs> Damn it, Will Smith! Keep your bleep 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 away from us. I know right? that guy. That kid gets pushed into all these movies. It's like Will Smith is like, "Yeah, put my kid in this. Put my kid in this. Put my kid in this." And it's like, no. The Mummy movie where Cruz got backhanded by the Mummy. Still, best part of the movie. Yes. I have that looped. We should make that uh, a GIF for like donations. For donations, just every once in a while, it pops up randomly and it's just psh, Tom Cruise just getting slapped. Oh, I would love that. I should work on that. We could do that, right? We have the means. We have the technology. We could do it. All right, maybe we'll do that. Maybe for next week. 
We'll see. We should make it a specific bit amount. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna let people know if they want to see it. No, but then I'll probably get sued. What? Have you seen All Hallows Eve or Terrifier yet? I made the stupid decision of watching All Hallows Eve at 3 a.m. All alone in the dark. For the first time, I actually started to question my own reality. It was that scary. You asked that already. And I said, no, we haven't seen either. We have not seen either. We don't have time. We saw Baby Driver. Baby Driver. Well, Baby Driver was good, man. That was like a musical cinematography opus. It's done so well. Congratulations to Ed Edgar Wright on making that flow just meticulously. Oh, my God. Or use a gift for when idiots get banhammered. Oh, that'd be good. Banhammer gift. Yeah, you're now Tom Cruise. Anyone who acts up, you're going to be Tom Cruise in The Mummy. Oh. Film class idea. What? Oh, stock footage of black and white movies. Only how it's funny. Out of context. Clips from random movies. Um, yeah, Mullet Man. Film class idea. That was... Uh, oof. Woody Allen's What's New Pussycat. If you've never seen it, uh, basically that was the same premise like 30 years ago. I don't know, it might be new for now, but basically he took an old film and he redubbed it to just be nonsense. And it's just like, what? Uh, I think that was it. I think that was the film. But I, uh, I'm not quite sure. I can't stand Tom Cruise. Well, then watch that movie over and over again and watch him just get slapped upside the head. He's hit or miss for me, man. He's hit or miss. You know, just sometimes I just don't even want to see his face, and there are times where I'm just like, yeah, slap that face. So, you know, it kind of depends on what's happening to his face. If he's getting punched a lot, then, yeah, Tom Cruise is awesome. You know, but if he's just there being all like, oh, I'm Tom Cruise, hey, what's going on? Mm, you know, then uh, that's why I didn't mind him in uh, Interview with the Vampire because, uh, you know, he kind of got a little toasty there for a bit. Um, yeah, so there you go. Mm. That's, that's, that's how I approach Tom Cruise. They should have a, uh, a a little, just a little banner on a poster. It's like, yes, this is a Tom Cruise film where he gets punched in the face a lot. I guarantee you the uh, ticket sales would increase. Men in Black spinoff starring Chris Hemsworth from so Thor. Um, eh. I don't know. I don't know about spinoffs. I'm kind of tired of people trying to spin stuff off. You know, it's just, it's just. Do it, make it work, you know? Stop doing spinoffs. I tried liking Tom Cruise, but he just has that smug face. Uh, he's like a lesser version of Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, there you go. Jimmy Fallon. I never liked Jimmy Fallon for some reason. He's like not my not my person, you know what I'm saying? Stephen Colbert every day. You know, um, and Tom Cruise is an obnoxious bleep. Tom Cruise is overrated. Oh, yeah, I guess, dude, he's still bankable as Hollywood goes. I have no idea why, but, you know, people still go see him. I've never gone out of my way to see a film with Tom Cruise in it. I just happen to watch films that he happened to be in, you know? Like, I've never been like, oh, Tom Cruise is in it. I got to go see that. It's just like, oh, no, I have interest in The Mummy. Oh, Tom Cruise is in it? All right, let's see what happens. You know, that kind of thing. You know, same thing with War of the Worlds. When he was in that, I was like, oh, War of the Worlds. Was, oh, Tom Cruise is in it? All right, I'll put up with him. Let's see what happens. You know, that kind of thing. Would a Men in Black TV series work? Um, didn't they have a cartoon of that? I thought they made a cartoon in the 90s, I, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. You know, sometimes Netflix can make, like, really good series, but sometimes if the wrong people are handling it, it just won't work well. Really de depends on pacing and whatnot. Mm -mm -mm. They did an animated series. Oh, okay, see, I was right. Are we overdue for Tommy Lee Jones and all of his uh, clones to awaken and make like 10 movies? Um, yeah, maybe. They can do anything now with CGI, though. You know, like, dude, you ever watch, uh, what was it, Pirates of the uh, Caribbean 5, Dead Men Tell No Tales, when they had the young Jack Sparrow in there? Dude, CGI all day. You, know, you haven't need actors anymore. Stop overpaying Tom Cruise when you can just clone him, you know, digitally. And then you can punch in that smug face over and over again. We need another good Jackie Chan, Rumble in the Bronx type movie. That movie was ridiculous. Like, dude, the, the fight scenes in there, you're just like, who is this superhuman? 
He was in a movie recently called, uh, I think it was The Foreigner. And still, he's still jumping around. He's like 70-something. He might almost be 80. But um, literally, that guy is more fit than we are. Like, literally. And there's like a huge age difference. And I'm like, how is this guy doing this? Man, it's like I wake up and my neck hurts and stuff. And this guy's like throwing himself out of windows at like 80 years old. They had a cartoon, yeah. Cartoon version was cool. It was the real Ghostbusters of the late 90s. The real Ghostbusters. Oof. Actually, no, no, no. Um, what, was the, what was the other one? Nah, whatever. Um, Peter Cushing looked convincing, but hey, computers can't uh, work miracles. Um, Yeah, there's that too. Um, yeah. And you got to get really good voice actors. And then maybe voice actors can be paid appropriately now as if they are movie stars instead of like, ah, well, they're just doing a voice for a cartoon. It's not a big deal. Here's $20. Uh, thanks for your help. You know, that kind of thing. I really feel like voice actors are just abused by the system. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I don't get it. Mm. Pumpkin guy or blah, blah, blah. Or Jim. Give Dawn a hug from us. Oh, no, that's physical contact right there. Physical contact. I don't know, man. I might be put on a list. Oof. She'll be here Sunday, hopefully. I rub the room of your very own. Rubbers! Enjoy! What? Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa! I think that's what they meant. Whoa! 21 moons! Ghost Jedi. Ghost Jedi. Oh, was Psychora streaming today? Big wig voice. Voice actors deserve more respect. Yeah. Come on. How many good ones are out there that are bringing life to characters all day? And people are like, no, nah, you're, you're going to get paid as if you were a voice actor from the 90s. And you're like, wait, wait, wait what? What? What do you mean $100 an episode? Dude, I'm literally voicing a man. We can replace you. All right, thanks. That's literally, that's how I feel it goes. Mm -mm. Oh, they are. Uh, voice actors spent years just to get better treatment for video game roles. Yeah, right? Because it's a different medium, so they're not paid accordingly, you know? Uh, people like Billy West and Tara Strong absolutely deserve more money for their exceptional work. Exactly. You know, everyone was, like, up up in arms back in the day when a Simpsons cast wanted a raise. And they are like, oh, we don't know Jim. Yeah, I know. I know Homer Simpson and all that and all the other characters you do. But really, do you really need more money? Yes, I am literally eating dollar menu all day, okay? God. What? Have the last of my bets. Now time to watch some ads for more. Hey! Damn, these gnats. Well, I don't know why, man. We were doing so good. So weird. There's a fluorescent lighting in this classroom. Messing me up. Um, mm -mm -mm. Da -da. Thank you. There you go. Mullet man. Got the Simpsons, Simpsons emote. Ah! Da, da, da. Jackie Chan, awesome martial arts actor, star. Could you imagine being his oldest kid, son, and having to call him, call from jail because you were busted for... Dude, you imagine? Oh, my God. I don't, I don't see Jackie Chan being the, uh, you know, physical punishment type of dad. I, I would picture him being more of a uh, kind of a wise parental figure. I would kind of like, you know, maybe give you some physical work to do out in a yard or something and be like, you know, kind of think about this thing. At least I would hope you'd be that type of person. He seems like a nice guy. I would like to have lunch with him. I wonder, can we get a Kickstarter to uh, just hire Jackie Chan for lunch? I want to learn to move. And I know he's probably sick to death of hearing it. Oh, he's like, oh, oh, L little pumpkin. You want to learn how to do something, right? Thanks for the follow. And I'll be like, uh, then I'd feel bad asking. It's like, yeah, I want to learn how to flip. I want to flip Pauline, you know? When she asked me to, like, like braid her hair for the umpteenth time, I just want to be able to flip it, flip it. Not in a violent way, just a, please get out of my way. I can't I can't be combing your hair right now. That kind of way. Or is that wrong? Is that wrong? Dude, she's 6'7". She can handle it. They please. changed the Pirates of the Caribbean ride after the movie. I remember going on the ride before the first movie came out and then a couple of years after and them changing the ride to fit the move and being annoyed. Oh, well, yeah, they'll do that. They'll always update things. Oh, let's make it like the film that's out right now so they'll go out and see it again and buy the DVD for like, or Blu-ray for however much. Ugh. 
Imagine if someone did a pay or play royalty for video game voice actors, a royalty on every game copy sold. Oh God, I would love that. That'd be great. No, nah, man, if I got actually got royalties on everything that was sold, that'd be pretty cool. What do you mean you do? Well, then we got to sell more stuff. We came out with a Halloween shirt. No, because that reminds me. We have a Halloween shirt. It says, Happy Halloween. It's me and Pauline. It's on the Amazon shop and also designed by humans. Okay. No, I got to put that out there because I, I keep forgetting. So, you know, follow the links kind of thing. Yeah. No, it's Halloween. I want to do a Halloween shirt every year. Is that too much to ask for you to draw a nifty little doodle of us for Halloween? And who wanted Pauline on a pillow and not in a creepy way? Are we doing that again? I'll be all smug about it. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to be on a pillow. Eh, you know, God. no, no, we're not putting you on a pillow because your ego. Um, there we go. What? Also, Jackie Chan Adventures was awesome. I never really got to see that. I remember it being a thing, but I never got to watch it. You know, I have no idea what we were doing at the time, but we never watched it. Da -da -da -da. Uh -uh. Slips out unseen. I saw you. Jurassic Park ride closed down and it's going to be updated to Jurassic World ride. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, hey, why don't we make this Jurassic Park ride to be like the uh, the worst of the movies? Yeah, you know, because it was wasn't magical at all. How about we do that? Oh, that's such a great idea. Yeah, let's make everything very mediocre and bland and predictable. All right, let's get on this, you know, kind of thing. And then the Oompa Loompas come out and fix everything. I own a Pauline pillow. Yeah. See, there you go. Don't do anything weird to it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Are the coffee mugs available on Amazon or just designed by humans? Just designed by humans because Amazon haven't, hasn't done coffee mugs yet. So that's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, there's a Halloween coffee mug. Halloween! Right. Yeah, we uh, maybe you should let people know about that before Halloween. Because I know you, you do things, you forget about it, and you leave it there and just let it sit. And then people are like, oh, dude, I didn't know you had a Halloween shirt. And we're like, oh, yeah, we had it up there. It's been up there for two months. What? Why didn't you let me know? It's like November 5th. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. We're not very good at self-promoting because we just, we like making things and then making more things. We don't like making things, promoting those things, hoping people buy those things, and then maybe free up some time to actually do some more work. We don't like that. We're creative at our core, and that's what we need to be. You agree? What is over there? We're doing that again? Oh, okay. No, it's over there now. I think she sees things. It's up there now. It's over there. Whatever. I'm not going to follow her eyes anymore. She's like a cat clock that just goes back and forth. Um, 30 minutes before I leave for class. Master Ellen. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up soon anyway. So blah, blah, blah. And let's see. Dino was a dino puppy. Just saying. Yeah. Can we st please stop playing with the dinosaurs like they are puppies? Why not? Who wouldn't who wouldn't love a little dino puppy? Who's a little, who's a little good dinosaur? Who's a good little velociraptor? Who's going to eat my neighbors? Who's going to eat my neighbors? You are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. As soon as they start mowing their lawn when, at a totally inappropriate time, that's when you strike. Because they won't hear you coming. Who's going to do that? That's what I want out of a velociraptor pet. What? I've been too quiet in this chat. I think I need to make some coffee. Rat Sputin! Yes, make coffee, but uh, I don't know. Don't bother coming back, because we won't be here! <laughs> no, we actually really have to go, because uh, my voice is starting to hurt. we got a lot of editing work to do, and um, maybe check on that capture card and why it froze. Oh, God. Oh, God, no! More technological issues to deal with! I don't care for it. I brought your albums. Good stuff. Thank you. We got albums. Not changing litter. Got to head out. Everybody, I would buy a dino pet. I have some loud neighbors. Dude, seriously. Dude, man, nah. Dude, I think if, if uh, whatever, Chris Pratt can control a bunch of velociraptors, I can do it. You know? Uh, I know he's got military training and all that, you know, and I'm, I'm sure the military trained him for uh, 
you know, dinosaur wrangling. Um, no, because, you know, you got to prepare for every eventuality in case, uh, you know, China gets all Jurassic Park and everybody. You got to be the alpha male, all right? That's what that's what ruined it. OK, um, no, because the whole thing. No, I'm still bitter about this movie. I could I could buy that a, a company would make an amusement park based on clone dinosaurs. It could happen. It's it's a possibility. I will buy that. I will also buy the fact that they go crazy and try to genetically engineer this super super dinosaur because everybody wants to see bigger and better dinosaurs because you know everyone got very blase about the stegosaurus you know but what i don't buy out of that whole entire film is how one guy with military training somehow has becomes pack leader to a bunch of raptors that's where suspension of disbelief is just thrown out the window I can control dinosaurs with my hand because they respect me. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, and then the other guy, well, we got to use these as military weapons. Imagine just having these on the battlefield. They'll be running around, just eating up our enemies. It'll be beautiful. What? Why did you have to tack that on? Oh, it's so stupid. If anything, that guy should have just been like, uh, you know, kind of in charge of keeping an eye on things, knows about their habits really well, and then, you know, just is able to track them. And then you can get into the human dinosaur, you know, shenanigans. He doesn't have to control them with his willpower. And I mean, I mean, that's great for his resume. I am Chris Pratt. You know, I, 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 I am so manly, I can control velociraptors. What, what kind of t-shirts are they? Are they the thin, tight-fitting ones? I don't have one yet, so I don't know. Viking age? That explains the laser raptors. Laser. I need freaking lasers on my sharks. <laughs> All right, we got to wrap this up before I start ranting more about Jurassic anything. Um, you want candy? There you go. I don't think dinos like pumpkins, so you're good. All right. Well, what about the herbivores? No, nah, man, they just in the herbs. That'd be a good name for a smoke shop. Herbivores. Oh, 420, get on that. You're welcome. Royalties, please. 1%. That's all I ask. Dude, that is really good. They, does this school have an entrepreneur? Fine, just don't even look. I want to know if this school has an entrepreneur class and they can maybe get me some startup money, you know, because I have I, I got very good business ideas. Herbivores. Don't make faces, please. All right, whatever. Um, I'm I'm out. I'm gonna go copyright trademark herbivores. Um, yeah. So thanks for being here <laughs> because we're gonna wrap this up. Have a great day. You have a great day. Everybody have a great day. Um, we're gonna be here again Sunday, uh, hopefully with Dawn and some fantastic maybe gameplay of something. We don't know. Go to the financial aid office. I think I have to. I. I don't even know how to get there. Was it? It's like down, down. No, but then I got to go downstairs. Was it? It's like the sixth floor. It's so stupid. Um, there you go. And you're late for class. She's late for class. She's like overstayed her lunch. What time Sunday? Uh, what time is it Sunday? Twelve, twelve. So we'll see. Yeah, no promises on the Don being here kind of thing, just in case there's a technological issue, but that is what we are going to work on getting done. We've done a test test thing, and it worked out fine. So hopefully, hopefully, it'll work again, and things will go well. Do you realize she grins like a Cheshire cat? Ah. <sighs> All right, I'm out. Where is this? No, that meatloaf is going to be cold. I was just going to go to the cafeteria. She's got to go back to class. I want to get some of that zombie meatloaf. All right? I'm not getting you any. Making faces. <laughs>